be here to wake the room up. up. Y'all gon' know the name. Expect the unexpected, boy. Yeah. It be talk, big game. Big Welcome big to the game room. Game room. Sit back, relax, and chill. Yeah. Gonna speak your mind, cause yeah. in here we keep yeah. it real. You know, the real gon' say whatever he thinkin', that's and cut up. Uh-huh. The rank them gon' be random. Shout out to Lee. What up? What up? Hot topics and the question of the day gon' blow your brain. Yeah. Just tune in and don't change. It be talk, big game, be talk. Man, it's Big Talk, Big Game, man. Back in effect, back in effect. Yeah. This is your boy, D-Rail. And I go by the name of Lee. What up? Man, like always, man, each and every week that Big Talk, Big Game comes to you, you got to take a seat and watch us. You feel me? This is must-see TV. Show you right. Do you feel me? Only on the Hip Hop Network. You feel me, man? Make sure you download the app, DHHN.TV. You feel me? Hey, get that shit now. Do you feel me? Welcome, welcome. And tell somebody to tell somebody to tell some. Body. You know you what I'm saying? We hey, out here. This stuff is free. I don't know what you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I know money is tight. People's one paycheck for being homeless. But hey, this shit is free, so it don't cost no paycheck. Then you get the shit. You know what I'm saying? It got everything you want, and it got us. Our pretty faces, well, our handsome faces, and hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey. We got some other faces. You know what I'm saying? We definitely do. We got with us. We don't go and get into it, man. You know what I'm saying? We got our special guest host for the first time. From the podcast, Lipstick <laughs> and Lies, you feel me? One of the yeah. co-hosts, you feel me? Mm-hmm. It's about time. We got the one and the only, Swatchy! Yeah. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? And right next to her, you feel me, man? We got our guest of this evening, you feel me? Business, man, you know business, what I'm saying? Business. We got a CEO of the Roof <laughs> Gallery, you feel me? Hey, man, you need a new roof? Call this man right here. You mm-hmm. feel me, man? Get Raise your house roof. right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, we got Don in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Don in the house. What's Black going on, bro? What's going on, man? How about y'all? I'm good. Hey, I'm I good. love the I'm energy. Good. Hey, the energy's through the roof. Hey. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I like yeah. that. Hey, we're going to be on this next commercial. You feel me? Hey. You know what I'm saying? Next commercial. You know what I'm saying? So, how you, you know what I'm saying? How's success for you, man? Man, everything going great so far. I can't wait to give you all the great news, everything that we got going on, like the Home Improvement Show every single day. So I can't wait to talk to y'all guys. Oh, yeah, we're going to definitely, mm. we gonna definitely get, we gonna get, get into it. We're going to get in your business. We're going to get in your business. You know what I'm saying? But before we get into that, you know what I'm saying? I want to know what I'm saying? Switch gears right here with her real quick. You know, first time on Big Talk, Big Game, a special guest host. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yes, you yes, know what I'm saying? Yes. We, we got a lot of history together. Let's take a lot of Big Talk, Big Game. A lot of interaction. So, yeah, like I said, it's about that time that I showed my face for y'all. Oh, we need to get all three of them on the show. One, one of these. Right, guys. right. We're right. having you know the mixture. We, we just getting y'all one yeah. by one. Yeah, we're one one by one. Each individual so. personality. Yeah. yeah. We, we are all very different. Yeah. I'm sure y'all have. Yeah, we already know. And if you don't know, check them out. Lipstick and Live, the podcast, man. Come on, Wednesday nights, man. They be doing it, man. We yes, see them. Yes, sorry. Yes, sorry. Yes, sorry. Yes, sorry. over there. You know, you know? So, hey, right. you know what I'm saying? We definitely going to get into your business and whatnot why we got you on the show. But since we got this guest host, Mr. Donovan Morgan, in the building, man, you feel me? Let's see what he got going on with this roof real quick. You feel me? So you, can, so you got the roof gallery. You yep. know what I'm saying? So how did you get into the business of this is what I wanted to do? Yeah, so it's crazy. I was actually doing, um, I have like a music background. I'm coming from South Florida, so I'm from Fort Lauderdale. And I was part of a, um, a little rap group. It's called I Rep D League. If he's doing some things okay. out there, you know. Okay. And, um, yeah, yeah. I was born in New York. I was born in the Bronx. I'm about to say that. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, so, so real quick, like the quick is my parents Jamaican, both my parents. I was born oh. in, in in New York in the Bronx. And then how it go is once they realized that it's too cold, then they moved down south. So you just moved to Florida, you know, right. in that area. So okay. yeah, I lived in Florida, right. Florida uh, most of my life. And um I I was trying to find something different to do. I, I did like I was doing my entrepreneur thing, I was in the moving business, but I was trying to figure something else to do, so I moved to Atlanta. And really, um, roofing found me. And once I got into it, I figured this was gonna be something that I was gonna do like officially. Mm-hmm. Then I kind of just brought like the culture to it, 
So that's, that's as far as like making like theme songs. We got a theme song called you Every Shit You Name. Yeah. We got roofing theme songs. We got songs. We got songs. Hey, I heard, I heard that song every single day. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, is that something that, like you said, did you have that before you actually got to the roof? Or that just something that inspired you to do something since you got into the roof? Yeah, that's a roofing song. So basically, it's kind of like, um, that's going to like the competitive spirit. So I feel like every um, main person, every superhero got a theme song. Right. Mm. Okay. You know, okay. Yeah. So, so where, where's your cape? Yeah. So I, I, I don't got it right now. We got the hat right now. You know, we got the hat saying roof right now. But is it, is it catchy though? Is it catchy? I mean, oh, so it, it, it's catchy. It's yeah. So you got you got to hear it for catchy. yourself. It's called okay. every single day. And yeah. what it is 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 a jingle, but at the same time, I made like a real song, so yeah. you can hear the. Um, yeah, he got the, a video and everything. Like it's a like it's feel like I it's mean, a straight rap video about the whole thing. I mean, you know, you got uh, what's the copy people? The Empire. You got the no, Jay Z no, 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 Wentworth. You're in Atlanta, the lawyers. The lawyers. Yeah, right. All of them. You know, like, right. like, like, right. got the car accident. You know, yeah. Yeah. Right. So at right. the end of the day, with this, as opposed to having to go to somebody else to make the jingle, you make it as authentic as possible. And I'm the person that's doing this, so. You know, I, I made the jingle, so it's official for real. You gotta check yeah. it out. It's on Apple Music, Spotify, all music platforms. Oh, it's, it's, called, called, it's, it's called Every Shingle Day. Every Shingle. Yeah. I wasn't even catching it. I don't know. Know. See, I, I know. I know. Words they got you. And okay. then we also got one called Roofs in You. I got another one called Raise the Roof. Because for all the little kids, when they say, who made a raise the roof? Yeah. Y'all got to say, roof by down. Okay, so you got one called, the roof is on fire, too? Nah, so it's called raise the roof, but that's oh. in there, though. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah. Take the roof off the motherfucker, yeah. all that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's real funny about that? Is that um, it's crazy how things happen, but I ended up the person who produced that um, song, as far as for, like, the raise the roof, is yeah. out here. And I actually am doing that person's roof. Oh, the, the hell out of here. Wow. Yeah. Look, at the, look at the connection that's yeah. going on, man. Okay, wow. You're in the right city for it. I know, know? it's crazy. Wow, you know, so. look at the connection that's going on. So I yeah. see I see you doing big things. Uh, thank you, thank so you. So before we get more into deeper what you're doing, so is music more your passion? Because it seems like you were doing music before roofing, or is roofing yeah, yeah, not yeah. your passion now? Nah, so you know, no, nobody grew up and said they want to be a roofer, right? No, they don't. No, that, they that's don't. nobody, they right? They don't. So with roofing, that was really more of like a... A dream facilitating kind of thing, okay. and just adding um, my talents in and transferring it to what I'm doing right now, so that way everything is natural. Yeah. You know, making it fun. Because if I'm just doing roofing, then, hey, you already know that's not fun. Let's move on to the next thing. Right. But when, when you make it your own kind of thing, you know, I'm able to add my music to it. We're, we're able to make right. a, a, a home improvement show, so right. that way I can show. You know, so do you come do bumping the roofing home? <laughs> that's a good question. That's a good question. Yeah, of course, of course. So, you, I'm, I'm for that, real because you mess around running to the right house. Listen, you mess around get started out here. You know what I'm saying? You might be doing Jermaine Dupree house. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. I, I already got people that, that's like calling stuff like that, and we actually do um, like roofing conferences now. So I've been getting booked from like wait, Canada. Wait. What's a roofing but, conference? So like like conferences. They so, talk about different things about. Yeah. So so you know how you got like what? invest fest. Yeah. And stuff like that. So basically, just like roofing. Yeah. So it's just like a different world for that industry. Yeah. But I'm bringing the music to it and stuff like yeah. that. And like, so the 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 roofing industry, they all know like the song. You know, they, they play it when they go to get roofs and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. That's yeah. the inspiration. You know. <laughs> Wait. So, so is roofing a competitive industry? Yeah. I mean, business is a sport, right? And yes. the, 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 and that's how the, the when you invest, that's how that's how you look at it. You so, yeah, so yeah. Of course, it is it's competitive. It's a sport. So roofing, you want to be the best. That's why we made the roof gallery. We have the sister company, which is the Roof Museum. Yeah. So we got yep. the first roofing hall of fame. That's based in uh, Marietta. So we induct people roofing into the hall, hall of fame. fame. Yeah. So we now you into this shit, boy. I'm into this. 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 i now I said, roofing comic book yeah. character was giving those yeah, to the kids. Yeah, Got some roofing yeah. ice cream. Y'all can try. Right, right. Ice cream right. coming. Oh, it's shit. We'll we, we we call it a roofie. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Man. So, just at the end of the day, um, the main thing is, you know how roofing is not really a sexy sport. Like how golf it ain't, you know, ain't the really. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, though, with golf, the main person, the only person I know is Tiger, Tiger, you see that? There Tiger Woods, yeah. that's it. I don't know yeah. nobody else though. Yeah. So as far as the roofing, now when the average person or when you know saying you got you guys think about a roofer, y'all gonna say roof by Don. You get me? And that's gotcha. the and that's the main thing. That's mm -hmm. why we do the, the music. That's why we do the home improvement show. Because when you think about roofing right now, there's no household name. There's yeah. nobody nobody yeah. can think of. You yeah. know? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. See, I can think of roofs by Donnie. Right. Right. Yeah. You, 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 you see a lot of roofers, but you don't. You're, yeah, like you're you don't know the you like, oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. You, I'm you, just you, trying to think of another industry this man can get in. Like, you packing and things together. You're a politician. You do anything. Nah, but we got the mayor of Mableton. He came through to the roof gallery, too. He gave us the cosign. We also had our um, our councilman um, come through, um, Goldstein. So shout out to Goldstein that, that came okay. by, yeah. And he gave us the co-sign for, um, he gave us a little stamp for Marietta. Damn, so we got, dude, I heard we got people things, coming in, you know, man. being the president to come through thing. too. <laughs> because, no sense, just to piggyback off the big thing, like you said, you're on HGTV. You yeah, exactly. Uh, and, 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 and you also was one of the Atlanta Hawks sponsors. Yep, yep, proud sponsor Atlanta you know Hawks. Like, I'm, you know, I'm trying to be balling, so I got to, you know. I gotta get with people that's balling. So. Oh, so so you got you gonna be a roof of baller? Yeah, what you mean? Yeah. So you gotta. I, I ain't got the height like you. You know what I'm saying? So I got ball somewhere, you know. So I gotta get on the roof. You know? You feel me? Hey man, that's huge. That's huge. That's huge. That's big stuff. No, man. at the end of the day, it's just trying to do something different. Like, as far as even just in our community, um, you usually as far as to try to grind and try to make money. You know, like make real money. You don't know what to do. Is either do music. You know, um, or do basketball, do sports, you know, something like yeah. that. And um, what I found with with the roofing industry is actually like another another quick lane. So it's like a nice, it's like the gold rush right now, you know. Yeah. So when people find things to do, find a lane that they can actually get in. So you this is actually say, that's your niche. Yeah, yeah. So this is actually yeah. a real lane that people can get in, and I feel like it's um, good to let everybody know because there's not a lot of black roofers. It's definitely not a lot of black roofing owners, you know. Yeah. The only the only time I ran into them was once I got social media. They started getting like Instagram and you know and yeah. TikTok stuff like that. They started like reaching out because they right. seen that I was posting and doing things like that. Gotcha. So it's good to just show them how other people get money. You know, yeah. it's yeah. not it's not always yeah. fix your credit. You can do that too. Yeah, you don't know. But, but, it's but, it's but, not always but, a tour. But you get money doing roof too. Yeah, yeah, there's just yeah. other stuff that yeah. you can do that you can get in and and you can make real money. That's what's up, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So so I saw that you uh. Are you hosting or sponsoring the summer block party on July twentieth? Yeah, so um, we doing a little bit of both. So we um, we got our nonprofit. It's called the Roof Museum. So you know, just like if you go to a museum, you can look at the artwork like the Mona Lisa, yeah. but you can't buy it though. You can appreciate the you artwork. Can go say appreciate yeah. It, yeah, and then the roof gallery is where you can actually purchase artwork. Gotcha. So with our roof gallery, that's where we make your roof or work of art. You can buy roofs, and with our roof museum, that's where we do like education. We helped the old lady in uh, Baltimore. She got yeah, she got done wrong. Yeah, yeah th- th- there's a roofing yeah. company that um they came and they, they stole her money. Mm-hmm. She she put down uh, the down pause of like five six thousand yeah. dollars and they ran off. Mm-hmm. So we went out there and we helped her out. We, oh, we put a lot of you know? that happens though. A lot exactly. Yeah. In, in the roofing industry is like number one for scams, you know, because yeah. nobody because there's no household name. So everybody yeah. just wants the lowest price yeah. because yeah. you don't know nobody really. There you go. And then because you want the lowest price now. You're going to pay for what you get. Exactly. Yeah, you're going to pay for what you get and, now. So you don't really, people don't really know what you're getting. You. Exactly. Yeah. So at the end of the day, um, with that, we helped, we helped them out, you know, just try to show a, a good example for, for the roofing industry as a whole. And uh, on, on July 20th, we got a block party. So that's going to be at the Roof Museum. That's going to be in Marietta, 1395 South Marietta Parkway. That's in Marietta. Okay. And at the okay. end, of, yeah, okay. like two minutes from the Big Chicken, if y'all know Marietta. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Marietta Diner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. One minute away. Yeah, exactly. Wow, exactly. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. at the end of the day, um, we have we got the Home Depot. Home Depot have the kids workshop that's gonna be there. We got a couple bounce houses. We got a couple vendors, popcorn, and all that good stuff. We have the DJ out there, so it's just gonna be good vibes all under one roof where we have the, all the whole community come out. So y'all guys come out too. Y'all can do a live podcast if y'all want. Okay. And then we can do. Right. Um, you know, just make it make it fun okay. for the community. Okay. So you know what I'm saying? So how do you find time to do the roofing and do the music? And do you got different names? Are you do you go by roof the roof by Don? Roof by Don, yes. And so, the music too? Yeah, cause cause at the end of the day, what it is is everybody gotta be authentic and official, right? That's the people who, who actually make it, right? right. Yeah. My, my my favorite um, artist is the Moguls, so Jay Z, you know, fifty um, Kanye, you know, because they you know, do multiple things. Yeah, yeah. They, they moguls, you know, they're able to transition, they become billionaires, like that kind of thing, you know. Yeah. So with the um, with the roof, and that's what I'm doing. So be, just how young Jeezy, all you do is talk about bricks. All we do is talk about roofs. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's what it is. The grain you lost. Yeah, on the roof. Damn, the wind damage <laughs> single. Hey, the hell they hit this hey. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Roof, 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 roof,
You know what I'm saying? So what, besides the summer block party or whatnot you got coming up, what's next for you now? What are you looking forward to do that you haven't tackled yet? I mean, we just looking to, you know, to, to raise the bar for the um, roofing industry as a whole, to become the household name, you know, for, for the industry, so that way when they um, think about roofs, they don't just think about an old person looking dirty, you know what I'm saying? You got different personalities. Yeah, you come um, with a different energy. Yeah, yeah, and at the end of the day, is, this is supposed to facilitate your dreams. So if, especially in Atlanta, so if you want to do music, you want to act, we got a media room in, mm-hmm. in, in, at the Roof Gallery, you know? Okay. So it really okay. supposed to help you make money. So now you can come in, do these things, and invest in your career. You get me? Gotcha. Because when I was doing music, I was I was making some moves. You know, I opened up for Lil Wayne, for for a um, chameleon there, for some artists, but I wasn't a household name, you know? I was you know, you're still radio. coming out there. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. I was getting paid little hosting shows, things like yeah. that. But if I actually had, my main problem was I was trying to get signed. I'm mm-hmm. trying to wait for somebody to come save me. Mm-hmm. You yeah. feel yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. But Which is what a lot of young boys... That's what they do. And then yeah. that's why a lot of times when they see, now they see the trap artists making it, how they making it? Because they finance it themselves. Yeah. No, regardless if it's in the, whatever way they doing yeah. it, that's right. what they doing. So at the end of the day, like I said, it's different avenues. So you could be doing roofing, and hey, you you putting in work, but now you making some money. You get a you get a comma on your right, check yeah. every week. Right. Yeah. So now you can finance what you actually want to do. Right. You get me? So it's supposed to be, yeah, it's supposed to go in hand in hand. So that way, you got looking. Nobody's gonna help you, right? Right. Yeah. Nobody yeah. gonna you gotta so go out there and get you. You gotta help yourself, right? Yeah. So yeah. a lot of times we just don't know what to do. So even if you're young, you can jump into this as a trade. You know, something you can learn real quick yeah. and make real money. Right. So now you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. So, yeah. so have you thought about doing a roofing label? A roofing label? I mean, you can't nah, go nah, say so you're doing nah, roofing and then you got a, like, a nah, roofing so, label? So you know what? I, I, I like bring, to, and bring another roofer in to rap with the roofing label? It, it ain't really the roofing label. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is, uh, so we got the Home Improvement Show. Uh-huh. So you know how you got um, how you got movies and right. you got the movie soundtrack? Right. Yeah. So we got all these um, reality shows, but they don't got a... A, a soundtrack to go oh, with reality it. Shows. Yeah. yeah, which they should because oh, they got like because like look I, if y'all do it I, I got only twenty percent. <laughs> like love and hip hop for instance, like for some reason I want to have a soundtrack that actually go with it. Yeah, they got like you know love like love right, 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 right. Nah, yeah. 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 Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You use that anywhere. So we got yeah. So we got the um the Rufus songs. We got about like six songs right now. We're gonna be releasing another one soon. But that's gonna be basically the soundtrack. So all mm-hmm. the songs that's playing in the background and stuff like that, that's all. What would you call that soundtrack? Every single day. It, 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 <laughs> it makes sense. Like, just keeping it consistent. Just, just right, like, it makes just like sense. 50, get yeah. Richard I Try, they got the movie, Get Richard I Try. They got the album soundtrack, wait, 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 wait. Get Richard I, I Try. Got, I got a whole question right here. So, <laughs> so your show, right? So Yo, 50, 50 holler at me, man. What's up, man? Let's, <laughs> yo, let's get this done, man. So you got a let's show. Go let's go. It's going to be on HGTV, right? No, nah, no. Nah, so we was already featured on HGTV. Oh, you were featured on it. Yeah, so okay. we did um, the host. His name is David Bromstad. He's okay. the host of My Dream Lottery Homes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, with the tattoos. And all yeah, that. yeah. All right, yeah. right, so yeah. we actually did his personal house. Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. and, and that's actually how we started. When I started my roofing company, like, three months in. So I hit him up. I was like, hey, we're going to be the best roofing company and the best, the best work with the best. So I got to work with you. And yeah. he was like... It just so happened I need my roof done too, and it just it just happened wow. like how you know perfect um, timing. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. and then yeah. but at the end of the day, um, we did his personal roof, so that is what got featured on HGTV, and then our own show is gonna be featured on a different network, so that's gonna be coming soon. Okay, um, yeah, okay. Yeah. we work, we work, yeah, 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 we work. Shout out to you for Yo, doing it, man. In that sort of energy, yeah, right, yeah right, thank you. Right. Creative, hey, I think outside right. the box. We, we got I a Christmas never... song called "Santa's on the Roof" too, so. Hey, ain't nobody gonna be on the roof more than us. I'm going after Santa. I'm going after Bob the Builder. Man, you got a on, Christmas man. jingle. Bob, yeah, we got yeah. Y'all gotta check out the songs for real after because it's official for real. No, so, I, I, no, see, I check that every single day. I yeah. check that out. I saw that video. I said, damn, I should have been in that video right now. Yeah, and, and then the other ones, y'all, y'all gonna see, like, it's actually real songs. So it's roofing, but, like, it's real songs, though, when you, when you actually listen to it. Okay. It's not gonna be, like, I mean, I got you. I got yeah, you. Yeah, it's not gonna be just like that. Trust me, trust me. And, and that's why I asked you about your music because I know you was an artist at first, my heart, and now yeah. you became a roofer or whatnot. But I know you still got that music itch in you. Exactly. I know you still exactly. got it in there, boy. I yeah. know you like, man. I can put down a track now for you. You know, I may <laughs> be a roofer, but I, I can take this ad off. I got you. <laughs> but, and I'm gonna make it, and, and I'm gonna make it official. I'm making it official where I'm, I'm talking about what, what I do. You guys saw that, and that's what's good about it because I'm staying in my lane, so. Nobody else can be in my lane, so that's what's the original part about it, you know? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so, so, that's, so that's what you feel like you bring different, like you got that, that lane of roofing or like about your music? I just feel like I'm being me, so nobody can be me better than me. Absolutely. So that's so that's what's different. I'm not trying to be nobody else. I 
like that. I yeah. like that. Man, we got roots by Don the Builder, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. man. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? So before we let you go, we're going to ask you a quick, some quick questions. Get, have a little fun with you real quick, man. You seem like you lit. You seem like you lit. Oh, what we got here? Oh, 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 it's a little weird, but you know, baby daddy sent me some stuff. He was like, "Hey, put this on a shirt," and I'm like, "Where you get this from?" He like, "Don't worry about it. Put it on a shirt and sell it. You gonna blow." So I was like, "Okay." So boom, here we go, and it, it's to rise above pro um, poverty. Trap. And you know, so I, I like that. of course I brought y'all. You know, I appreciate. I ain't know appreciate what size shirt y'all wear. Up, so baby. Nah, that's, that's cool. cool. That's cool. Yeah, I ain't get one. I'm gonna get one soon though. So my little company, you know, I call it T-shirt chicks. Um, it was supposed to be me and my daughters, but it ended up being just me. You know, them daughters there, right? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, out. Yeah, they be yeah, back. Yeah, they be back. Kids, <laughs> right, right, exactly. I love the company name. I know nobody want to wear anything that say T-shirt chicks. I just shorted, so you see TSC. So I've seen a lot uh. of people been biting, you know, the trap stuff. So I just start putting my own little. Being on it, so you know it's official if you see TSC on it. T shirt, gotcha. that's mine. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna so, let everybody hit there so they can see that right Yeah, official. yeah. Follow it's me official. on Instagram, um, t shirt underscore chicks, and um, you'll see everything we got. I do hoodies, I got t shirts, and if you just need like a graduation shirt or custom you know, stuff. I can do the custom stuff too, but. For the most part, you know, I pull up on you with a, with a trap shirt. You know, you know what I'm saying? You, know, you can have a trap shirt with a roof, roof trap. Hey, hey, you know what I'm hey, 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 we doing it. It already did. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to play a little fun game with you, man. You know what I'm saying? Before we get you a bottle here, man, called Rapid Fire. All right, let's go. We're going to ask you some random shit. You know what I'm saying? Just say the first thing that comes to your head. All right? It's Rapid Fire, all right? Rando. All right? You a roofer. All right. Is he? I never knew. You a roofer. Yeah. What's your favorite color of shingles to put on somebody's house besides gray? Don Black. Okay. Okay. Google what yeah. that look like. Okay. Yeah, hey, that's, that's, that's that new color. Yeah, that's a new style. So you know, how, you know how you got uh, designer clothes. Yeah. So we got designer shingles. So I'm the first shingle designer. So that's coming soon. Down black. <laughs> that's yeah. That's yeah. That's coming soon. Down black. <laughs> I need to go look at your room. Man. How yeah. you get on your room? Right. right. What's your room look like? Every shingle day. Oh man, that's what's up. That's let me let me ask you something. What is your favorite candy that's not chocolate? Ooh, that's um, good. what's those um mm -hmm. words called? The bright crawlers. Oh, you yeah. like the gummy worms? Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Worms? Bright crawlers. Oh yeah, man, yeah. to bring it back. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Now oh. I kind of want some. I'm gonna go to the quick trip. They don't stick to the roof of your back. Nah, <laughs> nah, but I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> hey, hey, girl. I, I saw. I saw where you were going with that. Your roof, but, yeah, it raises yeah. sugar, blood sugar through the roof. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Nah. Okay, okay. The roof puns all day. <laughs> Name me all members of B2K. Nah. <laughs> Omarion, uh, Raz B. Okay. It's over with. That's two. Nah, it's over with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little yeah. Fizz. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, I'll be giving real questions. Hey, These must be no Mark. wrong answer questions. I would never remember it for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Jay Boogie, he, yeah. he, he, he the low key one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. yeah. problem. You got two, though. Two out of four is going to be Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. You got to play there. Oh, I had to be two, they had to get. Quick, what's 12 times 5? Nah, 60. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, so he, he knows his now. He, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He's hold a roofer. He better know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what's what's your favorite place to eat? Where you from? I mean, in, 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 in Florida. In Florida? In Florida. What's, what's the go to spot? So I'm trying to think of my favorite spot. I can't just remember the, the name right now. But Shooters is real good. That That's in Fort Lauderdale. That's right on the beach on the intercoastal. Um, see, and. Is it it, yeah, seafood. Yeah, okay. seafood. Man, they got Italian spot. Um, S Serafina. There we go. Okay. So it's called like Serafina. Okay. Yeah, so it's called Serafina. It's an Italian okay. spot. It's like a boutique Italian spot. It's around the intercoastal. 
uh-huh. and it's like only like my bosses like eat there. Like, right. like it's, it's a real secluded Gosh. spot, but it's lit though. So you take you know you take somebody there, like you feel the exclusives oh, no, on the water. Might be in the mix yeah. of a hit somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you can pull up on a boat. Like it's kind of lit. Wow. Uh, what about lit. here? You got a favorite spot here? Here, um, I like two four six. I like that Italian spot. It's real good. They got they got like good pizza and they okay. got good um, like pasta things two like four, that. Six. Yeah, I never heard too much. Yeah, like, yeah, I too much. I'm putting y'all on. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. That's why I got you. Love to see him home. That's why I'm like, what time is that on? Which one? Um, two, four, six. Yeah. That's like, that's like, that's like that. Damn, nah, I don't know. You, is it downtown? You got the Google. That's the Google, man. That's a Google question. That's a Google mask question. Ain't gonna lie. Yeah, but in an atrium, um, that's in Stone Mountain. Nah, nah, that's in the belt line. The um. Oh, okay. What's the, what's the belt like? What's the well, the Ponce, Ponce. 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 Yeah, so yeah. in Ponce called Atrium, and then they got oh, the okay, got they you. got the braised um the braised ribs. I'm telling y'all guys, I gotta try that out. Decatur. Okay, it's yeah. in Decatur, and it's off of East Ponce two four six. There you go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So y'all, y'all gotta try that out. Okay, that's what's up. Bro. Bruce by Don sent y'all. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, <laughs> all social media. <laughs> Rufus right. gotta eat. Does the hashtag Rufus gotta eat? Hashtag me. We might send y'all complimentary Uber Eats gift card. Oh, okay. Yeah. That boy be on. We big thinking, talk, boy. Big game. We talk, hey, big hey, game. hey, you know hey, hey, hey. Listen, this nigga <laughs> know everything. He got everything hey. down pat. This nigga got the music. He got the roofing. You know what I'm saying? He, he, all he, he, got the, yeah. he got the word trademarks that he already put in his soul Not before he even thought of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> this nigga got a motherfucker. He trying to come out with a reality TV show soundtrack. Yo. He got the gear. You know what I'm saying? Well, tell us about this chain you got on. Like, I see the chain glistening. Yes. So the chain is Goats for Sales. So you ain't got to sign with Jay-Z, you know, Rock- uh, Rockefeller, or you don't got to be with Lil Baby 4PF. Y'all can do roofs, right? Y'all get a million dollars in roofing sales. Then y'all get a G4S chain, which means wow. Goats for Sales. Oh, you got the million dollars yeah. in roofing sales? And, and then you wow. get your own initials, you know what I'm saying? So our crew, we clicked up too. So all you got to do is get a million dollars in sales, and you get some bling, you know, that's it. How long it take you to get a million dollars in sales? Now you do it within a year, within a year oh, time frame. Yeah. So you, do, you can do it faster, but you got a year to do it, though. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah. So look, all you parents out there that got a kid that don't want to do shit else but rap, hey, send them to them. Right. Yeah, yeah, y'all can, right. you can rap, you too. We're going to dream facilitate. So you you're going to rap, but who's going to who gonna give y'all money? Not your parents. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you yeah. get me? Like, so what, what, what's, the, what's the lowest age you're taking to um, put a plot to you? Now nah, you got to be, you got to be, uh, how they got to be? 18? We got some interns, you know, um, yeah. that, that's come from school. We do some stuff with the schools, okay. with that nonprofit. Um, so we got some interns. I think it'd be a little younger for that, but um, but 18. That's dope, though, because it's inspiring getting people out here. And, you Get know, them a trade. Yeah, and help them keep yeah. a roof over their head. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. There we go. So when y'all think about roofs, think about me. Think about roofs by Don. Roofs by Don. I definitely am, because I don't yeah. know how to nail another roof. Exactly. That's all keep I'm on now. So, yeah. <laughs> Waffle House or IHOP? Who got the best roof? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so I, I, I feel like I'm in Atlanta, so I have to say Waffle House. You do. You ain't got to say it. You yeah, can say whatever you want to. It's your opinion. No, it's his right. opinion. Right. Right. But being that from like a little kid, I have to, I have to say, I have to say IHOP. As a little kid, that's the more well, that's they the, got the memories. Really fresh and fruity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as a kid, nah, for real. As yeah, a kid, so that's you know. the memories I got. And, but Waffle House is like more grown up, like you drunk vibes, you know, after party vibes, and you go in real quick, and they got the good. The dirtier it is, the better the food. Like, that's the kind of thing with Waffle House. That's the vibe. I don't know. Oh, man. Ruth, my God. <laughs> Your favorite cartoon character when you were growing up? Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, uh, my favorite. Yeah. Um, nah, that's a good one. Fiddler on the roof. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> 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 that's a good one. That's a good one, though. That's a good one. I watch mad cartoons. I can't think of, like, my favorite. That's crazy. What's coming in your head right now? Right. At first, I was gonna think Mickey Mouse and stuff, but it's not that though. Okay. It's not okay. though. And then I, then I just think about like think about Looney Tunes. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I was I wouldn't want to say like Bugs Bunny. So it's my favorite though. I don't favorite? know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I start thinking about a bunch of stuff. I start talking about Lion King. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Give <laughs> <laughs> that for my man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh man, if you could wear any color for the rest of your life, what color would it be? Black. Just like the room. Yeah, that's exactly. Like <laughs> I feel like that's a that's, that's a, 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 um, a, a color that's always gonna be there. You know, yeah, so no, yeah. no matter what, you wear black, you can be fresh. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a classic color. Damn, you go, you gonna wear black to a good, uh, great event, like a good, supposed to be up for the event. Black, yeah, black tie event. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah. 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 fresh to death, what color you wear? I don't wear black, though. Which you wear for funeral? I don't wear black now. Wait, what, what you wear for funeral? <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear black now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything black. Anything <laughs> black. Oh, man. That's what we got. black shoes. Black, wait. Black and he black. Black and black. Black roof. Hey, I look like the roof. Black and gray. I look like the damn roof right now. You know what I'm saying? We got Ruth by Don. Ruth by Don. And once again, let them know how they can find you, follow you, all that, man. Yeah, so make sure that you just put Ruth by Don. Just put Ruth, so hopefully I'll pop up. On Apple Music, Spotify, do the same thing. Put Roof by Don. Check out every single day. Make sure y'all follow the Roof Gallery as well. And at the end of the day, like I said, when y'all think about roofs, think about me. When y'all kids, when they say who made up that razor roof, y'all probably don't even know who made that up. So just say Roof by Don. I did it. <laughs> yeah. That was up, man. Hey, man. It's Big Talk, Big Game, man. We got more to come, man. Feel me on Big Talk, Big Game. Hey, we come and back if you're trying to do a spotlight, a business, hey, man, hit us up, man. We get an interview. We have you here right here with us. There you it can is. Tell us man. all about it, man. Hit us up on IG at Big Talk Big Game underscore or Big Talk Big Game Podcast at gmail.com. When we come back, man, we finna talk to Miss Miss Swat Chick and see what she got going on, man. Y'all yeah. stay tuned, stay locked in only on Big Talk. Big Raise game. the roof. Talk big game, man. Like we promised y'all, man. We got SWAT chick in the building from Lip Dick Live, man. A special guest host with Big Talk Big Game in the game room. Man, like we said earlier, man, welcome to the show for the first time. We appreciate this. How, how the other ladies doing? We good. We yeah. good. We, you know, talk our shit. Yeah. Y'all definitely do. Yeah, y'all definitely do. I be talking my shit as well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you do. You do. And I said some of y'all last so LA would look. I said, oh shit, I fucked up. I done fucked up. That's why I'm like, I still love you, LA. I still love you. I didn't fuck I didn't fuck up. I saw that face. She grabbed that dog. I said, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. You can oh, talk shit. about them baby daddies, you know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's sensitive for some folks, so you know, but that's yeah. why we do it, you know. Um, that's why we go live so you can get that real reaction. Yeah. We read the comments so you can see, like, if you ask the dumb question, you're gonna see it because I can't hide my face. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right? Exactly. <laughs> when you cock their head to the side, like, yeah, what the fuck are you asking? But that's what the people want, man. They want the yeah. real. They want raw and straight up how you give it to them. Yeah. So, so how did you come about with lipstick? Because I know Dave Two was doing it before you actually mm-hmm. came on full fledged. Mm-hmm. So how did you come on and get into that situation? Um. So me and LA have known each other since we was like sixteen. Mm-hmm. So in our friend group. I'm always, if you can't tell, the one that don't take nothing serious. You know, gotcha, I'm just like, gotcha. fuck out of here. You know, like, all the time, no matter what the situation is. Gotcha. So, it was just like, I came on as a special guest one night, and then she was like, just just come. Just do this with me. Mm-hmm. So, I was like, cool. You know, and we already are real friends outside of that. So, mm-hmm. it just meshed well. Gotcha. Yeah. How long y'all been doing it? Uh, I've been doing it with them for about a year now. About a year. Okay. Yeah, so I want to say they were doing it, her and Yola were doing it for about a year. Okay. Prior so to two years. Yeah, so two doing. years, yeah. Okay. yeah. You know what I'm And what do you feel like, since you didn't came into the situation, do they feel like that you bring in something that they was missing the whole time, or do you feel like you add what they need to, or you just feel like you just gel with them, what they was already doing? Um, I, I bring a different perspective for every topic. For well, one, because uh, L- uh, LA is single, so her dating experiences. You got Yola, she's married. Right. Then mm-hmm. you got me. I am the token lesbian on the show. Right. right <laughs> so I'm right. gonna give you a different aspect there, yeah. every single time. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so and they sit you in the middle for a good goddamn <laughs> reason. <laughs> for real. And then right. it's just my attitude. You know, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. So, yeah. Right. Right. Whatever you talk right. about. Yeah. Okay. And Y'all be having some crazy topics, dog. I've been like, damn, yeah, I never too. thought about something like that yeah, right too. now. And, yeah, and it's organic because y'all just kicking it out kind of like us. We just, yeah, we just start like, doing it, just talking, and then it happens. A lot of it will come from a group chat, a group conversation. They're like, hey, that's a topic. Yeah. And, you know, because for what we don't talk about on the podcast, it will have you rolling. Oh, we need the behind the scenes. We need the group. Right. Because <laughs> right. right. the, the, right. the names... Right. And situations are 
alter because we don't want to hurt nobody's feelings in real oh, life. Shit. Oh, y'all talking real. Y'all talking shit. <laughs> yes. Hey, that's yes. why I be watching this shit and I be calming. Like, even if it's only me calming, I'm like, nigga, yes. fuck all that. Nigga, I need to say something yes. about this shit. If you shit, ever like, really want to know, just send me a text. I'm like, yeah, this is what really happened. <laughs> hey, hey, nigga, I be, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be kind of getting my feelings. I can't even lock. I'm like, damn, did they see my shit? Not, like, uh, saying, but like, you're not the only one because a lot of people be like, you trying to talk about it? No. We know how it is because when we was going live, a lot of people yeah. like, man, y'all ain't even yeah. reading. Da, 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 da. Like, shit, we doing the show at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We still yeah. got to converse with people. Yeah. With Bring your ass to the show live. <laughs> right. I've been telling you. Say what you got to right. say. I've been telling right. you on my personal family, like, hey, you want to come to the show? You know, so if you don't come to the show. Didn't y'all change locations? We can change on things every time. Oh, damn. Yeah. 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 You gotta y'all got at the same location when we were on this show. No, we not. Okay, so y'all, y'all don't do that location no more? No, nah, not that one. Oh, okay. I'll be touring. Pretty much. I mean, hey. Lipstick and live, live. <laughs> Look, somewhere near you. Right. On the spot. Hey, right. this is a good spot. Let's talk about this shit right now. Boom. Let's go. Right. Because I'm over here like, I'm hearing the dog. Bark. I'm like, who the fuck is this dog? <laughs> that, that's, that's, her, that's her grand, her grand dog. Okay. Green dog. Ain't no wrong with that. That's that blue right. shit. That's, that's <laughs> LA shit. So, you know. Ain't yeah. no wrong with that. Ain't yeah. no wrong with that. So, since y'all be talking about topics, we're going to go get into some hot topics that, okay. you know what I'm saying, that you probably already know about. Let's go get into it. Okay. Uh, did y'all hear what Megan Good said about uh, her finally being paid what she's finally worth after 30 years of doing the industry? Tyler Perry has finally paid her for what she's actually worth. I saw something about that, but I didn't I, look into I didn't it. I really deeply. look into it, but that's... So she, Tyler paying everybody what they were. Shout out to him for that, though. Yeah, but it's that crazy that it took them. Th- it took her thirty years to finally get the pay that she wanted. And she's been doing this for thirty years. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's keep it real, though. That's what? industry shit. Like it's, that's- it's industry. But what? what? We talking about Megan, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, you can. You can't talk about Megan. No, I ain't nothing. gonna say nothing bad, but let's just. She Megan ain't no Taraji. Mmm. <laughs> Megan, you wanna do this shit? <laughs> Megan ain't Taraji. Let me think. Let me think. Hold on. What? 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 What is Taraji did and Megan ain't did? What is? What is Megan did that Taraji ain't did? Put the. Make, oh, make, we, make, we hey, name movies. Hey, hold on. What we make, got? What hey, you got, Megan? Megan got her own TV series show. What's what? Called? what? Harlem. Who watching? What? I ain't never heard of it. What network? What you mean? It's, a, it's, it's everywhere. If you put it up, it's everywhere. It's the Harlem. I ain't never heard. Of it. Nigga, I watched it. You. <laughs> <laughs> Lucius Lyons. It don't matter. Harlem is about Megan Good? Is yes, Megan Good that's her shit. It's, it's all about her. Well, I mean, they got four girls, but I mean, mm-hmm. the show is mainly tailored around what she's what, what is it? Is it like black sex in the city? Like, what are we doing? Yeah, right? that's exactly what it's like. Yep. Oh, like a black sex in the city. Yep. Oh, it's like, that's okay. what it is. Like a black sex in the city. Yep. Okay, what else you got? What else you got? Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Also in news, did y'all hear about the 37-year-old man and the 64-year-old woman got pregnant? Oh, she looked oh, like yeah. a zombie. I saw yes. That. She looked, yeah, hey. That's the methamphetamine. <laughs> that looked she looked like. like she looked like, real, she, she, like she almost on her way out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's how old she looked. She looked like she on her way out. They had about a baby. They had a surrogate. Yeah, they had a surrogate, right? yeah. Ran off on them. <laughs> Listen, I, I can't take it serious. What? The, and he don't look like nothing. He don't look like nothing. Let's start. Well, he, I, got I, that, he got that gold hair. It's he somebody like, for everybody. He looked like one of the Meteor Boys. You remember that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, might be my age. I might be telling my age with that, but that's what he be looking Boy, like. Boy, when that Ooh. movie came out, yeah. I'm just Meteor Boys. They got another bad creation in there. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. That was like the All Star cast back Man. in the day. Like, oh shit. Right. I'm, I'm right. sorry. They had Don Cheadle. Cheadle. Yeah, we didn't yeah. really know who Don Cheadle was like right. that yeah. back then. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Who else is in there? A heavy D in the boy? They had, uh, oh, Big Daddy K. Eddie Those Griffin. Three. Eddie Griffin was yeah, in there. Yeah, that was oh, an all-star yeah, yeah. black cast for back then. Yeah. yeah. I was trying yeah. to think. It was, it was a bunch of artists in there. I forgot mm-hmm. who all in it, but. Was it John Amos in there? The uh, the, the dad. The, he uh, in all the, black movies. The, uh, he probably was. Right, right, right. He was, about he, was, he, was, he, was, he was the dude that had the, uh, <laughs> no, no, he wasn't in there. That's right. That's McDowell. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's John Amos. Never mind. <laughs> I could have showed my age. I could have been like James Evan. Right, Evan right. Oh, hey, you know they, they have the arches. We have the arcs. <laughs> <laughs> they have seats. They buzz. We have no seats. When I say he's got his own money, the boy has his own money. <laughs> love to but he's a goat herder. <laughs> <laughs> he will not feel him. Right, not right. About money. Yep. Also in news, Buster Rhymes shut down the Essence Festival 
demanded everybody get off their damn cell phone while he performs. He stopped the whole show and made sure nobody was on their cell phone while they performed. Uh, why? Like old man. But, we, <laughs> but, but they said that's the reason why Method Man is saying that there's a big gap and that's why he's never going to perform for the, the gap the lower age people. Well, he like said he's not performing for the summer jam. Yeah, summer you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he says too much of a big gap and they're not, they're not into it. Some, some concerts, some festivals, people do vibe out. You don't see a whole lot of this. People mm-hmm. just holding up their phone. People do vibe out. And then you just got some where they not. They just so into just standing there filming what's going on. So, I don't know if I would stop a show. Yeah, he stopped the show. He ain't, he ain't uh, say nothing on the mic to everybody, old yeah. or young, so they got on the Did damn phone. Did he continue phone. the show afterwards? Yeah, because they want, he made sure nobody got on the phones. Yeah, that's... See, yeah, uh, he was talking about way up there, too, and everything. Like, nobody on the phone. He stopped rapping. I mean, this is the thing. I feel him. Because, first of all, why are you recording the whole show? Like, enjoy being in the moment. And watch, That's what like, he was saying. What you watching it do the, you know what I'm saying? Secondly, what you about to do with all that footage? Like, I see getting a snippet, a I picture, mean, yeah, a, a snippet. little yeah, bit of it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. people, the whole show, like, like you might as well watch it on TV. There you go. I you mean, know? I, I don't know, because I ain't never been one to do that. Me neither. But at the same time. I might, be, I might you know, ah. Yeah, yeah, you, you do a little something. Yeah, you do a little yeah, something, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But you're not going to record the whole show because you damn sure ain't going to rewatch the shit. Nah. So but what you going to record the whole show? At the same time, man, this is today, the, the day and age where people got phones and they want to flex and front and post on me, social media or whatever. Yeah. Just just do your performance. That's rock with the people that rock with you. You know, yeah. to, you're not going to stop people from pulling their phone. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's just going to happen. So it's, it's part of the time. It just right. is what it is, right. you know? And then also, lastly in news, I know, did y'all all watch the BT Awards? Of course. What did y'all think about the all-girl group doing the Usher tribute? Did y'all feel like they should have sprinkled some more men in there, did all men, or, you know They what did saying? what like, Usher asked to do. Also, Usher asked for the all-girl group. So, yeah, I've heard where they're saying Usher wanted, because he's always singing to women. So he wanted some women to sing to him. What's wrong with that? Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know that. I mean, and what's wrong with that? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal to me. I mean, would it been nice to see like some dudes do it and get a little male energy or whatever? That'd have been cool too. But I think he, you know, it's funny how they had Kiki on there and a couple other people that went to his Vegas shows yeah. that he was singing to. Yeah. And so they tried to be, you know, play fun on that. But uh, it was cool. You know, they did all right. They did pretty yeah. good. Say, you know, I, I, mean, I, I, I feel like it was cool, but I I'm, I'm like you, you know, I, I wish they would have like probably had someone like a, a Mario. You know what I'm saying? Everybody could, you know saying? Saying could have, could have yeah. did one of his songs. Or if Chris Brown wasn't on tour, yeah. Chris Brown would have yeah. towed it up Mario with the dance and dope. all that. You know what I'm saying? But you got to like, understand, at the same time, Usher... He, he a man with an ego. And to a point, I felt like, hey, man, you ain't going to get up there and, and do my shit better than me. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's a... <laughs> you ain't going to do my shit better than me. I think, I think they, they commem- they're they honoring him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you are, you know, but, you know... Maybe, uh, maybe I should need to be a little older. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this was mm-hmm. done 20 years now, and the young guy that he knows he ain't yeah, with... Yeah, right, right. Okay. Going to, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right. usually it's like Anita Baker, and then they got, like, somebody singing for her. Like, mm-hmm. she ain't coming out with no new album for Exactly. Real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like so, Jennifer Hudson singing for Anita yeah, Baker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. yeah. And that's probably why it's better if you're older getting that award. Yeah. 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 You know You're still in the game. You finna put a new album out probably right. next year. Exactly. He, he got like, songs. They, they did a couple songs that he's all, that, that's on the radio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the song? Good, 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 good. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that's that's out now, that's right. Right. You know I mean? right? Right, right. So like, right. what if SZA was doing one of the songs? Well, you on the track with him, Correct. You know, you or go. Summer Correct. Walker, or whoever yeah. it is. You know, right. so it's right. kind of right. like yeah. I didn't think that I didn't think it was that big of a deal. It was, you know, like people. Honestly, out of the female lineup of performers, and I ain't just talking about for the Usher tribute. I think uh, y'all gonna hate me, but I think Sexy Red was more entertaining. Then Meg, get the fuck out of here. Listen, listen. Entertaining is the word. It's I said entertaining. 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 <laughs> I can tell you who's more entertaining than that. Who? Motherfucking uh, Tiana Taylor. I was about to say Tiana Taylor nigga, was, was the one. Nigga, they put on a pump. They put on a pump. That goes without saying. They that's what Tiana out. does. I don't matter. Tiana Taylor, that's what Tiana does. 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 Tiana
gonna make it sexy. She had to, you know what I'm saying? The shoulders and then they got the hat. Right. right. Oh, yeah. Hey, then Victoria, Victoria <laughs> Monet dance that stuff. Oh, right. shit. They did it. Victoria Monet was getting red. They didn't yeah. get to it, man. Yeah, like, shit. They did the lesbian shit. Like, yeah. Like, I know like, you ain't like that. Right. right. I, 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 I didn't say I didn't. Say I, didn't. <laughs> I was glued. Like, oh. <laughs> what I'm saying is, though, as far as the rap girls, yeah, what was entertaining? I don't like. Se- okay. Don't get it out. Get it I out. I don't want to be on that hate train with sexy, but her performance was more entertaining than Glow Rillas and Migs. Mm, okay. Because, and this is how I'm looking at it, right? Meg had 50 million dancers. Y'all men, so y'all not, y'all probably not gonna catch what I'm about to say. Meg can twerk. She can't dance. Mm, okay. Okay. So you bend over and, 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 and bounce that ass. Yeah. But dance moves. Choreography and all of a sudden, yeah. Yeah, she done. She can't dance. Yeah. Mm. She can't dance. She can't do it. Her and Glow. Glow needs some more seasoning on her. Yeah. Glow okay. needs some more seasoning. Her songs is hitting, but she needs some more seasoning. Go overseas with Meg. Come back, and let me see your stage presence. Again. Okay. I can Sexy. That. Even though she new to the game. She came out there. She got that dumb song. I said, who? And if you notice, when they showed the crowd, everybody was standing up singing her shit. You can hate this girl all she want, but she's entertaining. She is. She it's is something about girl. sexy red. She I has think, that I, hit factor. I think the reason why people hate her, and it's the, re- it's the same reason why I be saying negative things about her. We know she's entertaining. Okay, I get it. She's entertaining. She's popping. People want her in her song. Should I want her in my song as well? That shit gonna pop. Exactly. But... I think what it is is that when it comes to just the lyrical rapping, oh yeah, she that's it. what people are like. Okay, it doesn't fucking it. matter though. No, no, I'm, yeah. I'm just saying, but they, but that's what people think. You, you know what she they, is? They thinking about that shit. She's Soldier you know? Boy. Exactly. When Soldier Boy came, yeah, out. yeah, yeah. But see, okay. this is the thing about it. Okay, yeah. she not a, she not a lyricist, but you need her, mm-hmm. just like you needed the, the humpy dance that's and your chance, just like you needed. I got a man. What's your man got to do? Like, yeah. you need that. Break that monotony. And yeah. then you need someone like, you know, so she was what the game kind of needed. It was, mm-hmm. you know, for me. Let me ask y'all this. Do you think Soldier Boy back then when he was rapping or Sexy Red rapping right now, who you think rap better? As far as Ooh. lyric, rap, rap better? Yeah, just rap better. Like, Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy? Soldier Boy. I would say okay. Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. Okay. Yeah. She got yes. a dunk. That nigga said, just got my report card. Throw some D's in it. Come on, man. Come on. Who thought of that shit, bro? Huh? That nigga was yeah. dumb as hell. You had all else. And so you decided to go make a song about that shit. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah. But again, those, those things are entertaining. Hop up by my bed. Get my swag on, on. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. Those, you need, like, you need, you need goofy stuff. Everything can't be, you know. Yeah. Jada Kiss, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Cardi yeah. B, everything can't be lyrical. Gotcha. Yeah. You know what I'm gotcha. saying? So gotcha. you got to mix it up, man. So. And lastly, you know what I'm saying? The hot topics, I don't know how I forgot about this, but did y'all hear about the man and the woman that was in line? It was in line at some place, some public place. And this man ejaculated on her leg. Philly. In the line. Dollar Tree. Yeah, it was. Philly. That's what it was. Yeah. Philly. This um, man it jacked off and ejaculated on her leg while they were standing in line in the store. How? That is becoming a thing. Um, because wow. because designer did it too. Not only well, you know this happened to Yola. Get the hell out of here! What? Yeah, man. Serious? In yeah. a store? A Walmart. Get the fuck out of here, yeah, dog! Man. We need to hear that story. Bro. Right. I, I, I'd rather let her. Yeah, tell we need you to hear that, that story. But from her. it's it's hear. different when you know somebody that went through that shit versus just like I can't even. At first, when I used to hear shit like that, I'd be like, get, get, get the fuck out of here. You know, I had jokes, but then it's like, once I, you know somebody, it's like, that's damn. Weird. And I'm listening to her talk about it, it's like, damn, man, that's fucked up. That's traumatized. How the, yeah, man. But how the, how the fuck does that happen? Like, So the nigga just be on go. The nigga, yo, you a dude, y'all, are, he already sitting there like on go. He already on go. Right. He just waiting. He cocked and loaded. <laughs> Literally, so he just waiting. He, 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 he pumping, he pumping, he, and you just happen to, you know, you be a girl, and he, oh, pop, and it's like you just, you know, as a girl, you like, motherfucker, I know you didn't. Oh so shit! At the end of the day, I'm still a girl, oh, right? Oh, so as gay as I might look, I still get hit on by dudes at the gas station. I really be standing there, and I just be like, really, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this is going, nigga. All these bitches out here, you gonna 
gonna hit on me with the braids and the shit. I got on J's. But okay. So I say that to say to a dude that ain't getting none, he don't give a fuck what you look like. You a woman, he seen something, pow, you got it. You gonna get it. That is wow. Y'all got a tool. I can't women fathom can't do that, it. Though. Women can't do yeah, it. I can't fathom that either, dog. Women can't do it. Do you like, know if you gave a girl a, 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 a dick for 24 hours, do you know the world would go crazy if women had a penis for 24 hours? There's some women that do got penises. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Some women that right. 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 get it. Right. But, you know, like a real one. Yeah. Y'all would be sexually assaulted real bad. Olivia Benson would have to come out here, bro. I'm telling right. you. Because I know some females right now that are just, y'all would be raped. Y'all I mean, would just be covered in it. That's, that's pop, pop, crazy. Pop, 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 pop. Like, for real. But, I mean, I seen Meek put some money on that man's head. Like, yeah, he did. He said he turned himself yeah, in. Yeah, he turned himself he in. Turned himself in. Yeah, he turned himself you, in. Yeah, because you know, when you you got a celebrity that put money on your head, fuck that shit. Because my but, own family. But, but what's the charge? Head. Like, what would you call that charge? It is sexual it's, assault. It's, yeah, one it is. is assault. It's, it's, it's indecent. Uh, what is it? Indecent exposure. They can really, they can pile that shit on your head. Yeah. Indecent exposure, lewd behavior. Uh, you need to get a lawyer and plead that shit down. Cause they gonna throw everything. Yeah, they might be able to get them with rape charges. <laughs> you oh, know okay. what I'm saying? Hey. He ejaculated. <laughs> right. On somebody. Yeah. Well, why you hey, why? Right? hey, without their consent. Why you chose Dollar Tree though? That's like it's so weird. Like, like was a line that taking that long? I mean, but my thing is, women, right? We got to start paying attention. Because yep. you didn't see this yep. man, like, over right. in the cut, right. like, right. Yeah. pumping it up. Yeah. You didn't see that? Yeah, I'm over here like, how, did, how the fuck you didn't see that shit? And even other people in the store, like, I know y'all, they want to own it two in the store. I know y'all probably chill or something. Like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? It could, right. be, it could be a situation. Okay, let's, 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 let's go through it. You in Dollar Tree. Right. You on the aisle. Right. Somebody come from around the corner on the aisle. Wow. Oh, so he just came. So, but so that best thing means just, he's walking through the store like yeah. So, but yeah. but, but if, if you on one aisle and somebody's on the other aisle, you don't see them or know what they're doing. Right. But what I'm saying is, somebody at some point had to see this man walking through the store like Possibly. this. Yeah. Possibly. Like what are you? I, I, doing? I, I, maybe not. Hey. Then, then again, he could have been standing at one spot. He could have had he could have yeah. had a buggy in front of him, a cart or whatever, you know the hand the hand joint, you know what I'm saying? See shit like that because we just like made a whole story. <laughs> I think like me, I, I'm ignorant. Let 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 me be in Dollar Tree and I just if you just scratch it, hey this nigga, uh, <laughs> Alpha. Oh my bad, you was just my bad, bro. My bad. Because a lot of people ain't even gonna say shit. They were like, what's going on? They, keep right. they might think he got some sort of issue, a uh, itch, a mental health yeah. problem, or whatever. She you said, know? "Hey, Alpha, listen, you hey, scratch your balls song. too many times. Like, hey, bro, he might got crabs, <laughs> but he needs attention. You know, I'm just like, you know, you sniffle too many times in the summertime. All right, now that pie, hey, that booty hey, sugar, you, you right? Right. Watch it, watch it out. Watch it to the rest. <laughs> We gonna get him. We gonna find him. We gonna get him. Hey, don't hey, don't be in the dollar store on the dollar tree. To rise above poverty. <laughs> we watching y'all asses out hey, here. I still start paying attention to stuff because my daughters, you know, and they start developing. Like I got pretty daughters. I ain't even trying to just on no cocky shit. I got pretty daughters, so I see how men look at them. Mm. And it's time but I have to tell my daughter, I, you know, I have to walk up on my door like, hey, come, come, come. I don't like How, how old your daughter? I got 18 and 20. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they ain't they prime. Right. They prime. So it's like, you know, I, I, like, mm, you know, I got into an argument with a whole crackhead. Uh, Not you arguing with a crackhead. I, I was for my kid, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and look, people on the side, so in hindsight, the shit is funny. Right, right. But people and, from a distance like, what the hell is going but on? But in the moment, you know, she was taking a picture, and when she went to sit, she was still trying to fix herself. Right. So he walks by, and he goes, "Oh, you's a sexy motherfucker!" Ah, doing all this weird shit. So to me, crackhead material. That's me, I'm like, "Hey, bro, keep it moving. Get the fuck out of here." You know, that's me talking. Yeah. Here he go. You got them lesbians. They got all the bitches supposed to be yours. <laughs> What the fuck? Is that? This is my daughter, nigga. So now I'm arguing with this crackhead. Oh, 
and I'm causing a scene. It. Right. Yeah. Because right. my daughter, and meantime, she just completely, she's like, oh, now she's feeling yeah. a certain type of way, and I'm seeing this, and he's steady standing there. Ah, ah, ah. So she feeling violent. Yeah, yeah, and he's steady doing this shit. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, and it's, inter- you know, everybody else like, what the fuck is this, a skit? You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, this is a, where y'all at? Right. You know, where, like, where were y'all at? Uh, believe it or not, Cumberland. We were in front of Cheesecake Factory. In Cumberland Fa- No, in front of Cheesecake Factory. Oh, okay. It was okay. her birthday. Oh. And she went to sit on the, the fountain. Craig has me at Cumberland? This one right. was. <laughs> and look, that was, you don't want to argue with me, because that's, how the fuck you even get out here? <laughs> <laughs> Marvin don't even come out here. Right. Yeah, like, who we'll drop this crackhead off? Yeah, somebody come get this fucking crackhead. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I was... And they were probably like, hey, just drop me off and come tomorrow. I'll make it from there. Right. I'll go from there. You know, you know, I, I get real. Damn. Like, yeah, I start throwing a dollar at the nigga. Like, get the fuck out of here, nigga. You need 50 cents to go with this dollar? Like, yeah. Damn. So, yeah, it's 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 real. How, so, long, did you, how long did you sit there arguing with this nigga? She must argue with this nigga for a long time. Yeah, well, this nigga, don't argue with hey, people from hey, the distance. Hey, this nigga, this, hey, this nigga didn't have nothing to do with nowhere to go. This listen, nigga argue with you all day. Listen, my older daughter, my twin year daughter, she came was like, Mom, that's enough. That's enough. Let it go. And then finally, another guy, real talk, he finally, because we was arguing for a minute, and he just was like, hey, this real. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know this motherfucker. So he finally was like, hey, bro, move. Like, he got involved. So he was a straight stranger. Mm-hmm. But... We was arguing. You got a whole Avengers team. Okay, you got SWAT chicks. <laughs> right. 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 home was home, boy. <laughs> my you know what I'm saying? So, thank God my son wasn't there. You talking yeah. about Avengers. This nigga's 6'7". Yeah. So, if my son was there, oh, it would have oh, been a totally different story. It would have been a wrap. But it's, it's, I mean, it sucks that it happened, but it's also a lesson to you. It's a teaching moment. For my daughter. Daughters. Yeah, it you was. You know what I'm saying? It so. was. Be, be mindful of what you're wearing. Mm-hmm. Um, people around you. And you know, I, I that's why I said you have to pay attention to your surroundings. So that's why I'm saying, yeah, like the lady, the people in Dollar Tree. you yeah, didn't see, saying. you didn't see this nigga pumping yeah. it up. Yeah, like <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, it hey, hey, hey yo, you, say? you ain't pump it up, pump so, yeah. it up. <laughs> <laughs> Raise the roof. He was raising the roof <laughs> in his pants. <laughs> you didn't see that. Yeah. I'm just saying. Oh man. Pay attention to your That was up, man. We got a spot chicken in the building, man. Right. Big talk, big game, man. Hey man. We're gonna take another quick commercial break, man. We come back, man. We got more to come for Big Talk, Big Game. You feel me? Y'all stay locked in. <laughs> And we're back, people. Big talk, big game, man. You feel me, yeah. man? And we got another great guest in the building. Do you oh, feel man. me, Y'all man? Know the face. Let's go ahead. You want to introduce the man? You know what I'm saying? Man, let's do it, man. First of all, you've seen him before. Uh-huh. He going to tell you everything you need to know about whatever you need to know, man. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Comedian, funny man, skit guy all over your social media, man. Scam likely. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 What's going on, man? Man, cool it, man, cool it, man. What's up, man? What's up, man? You know, so how's success been for you, man? You've been doing this, man. How's success, man? man. I don't see it because these hoes ain't trying to get it. <laughs> <laughs> the hoes like, nah, hey, You need to get like goats, man. Right. Yeah. When they see me, they see me. <laughs> now, nah, I'm talking about it. I'm talking that shit for real. Yeah, for real. But there now, it's been, um, it's been so real. I said it's been so you real. You think you're recognized out there? Man, at the weirdest time, listen, bro, I was in public, right? Uh, I, had, I was standing in the so I was in public. And I thought I would get some water or something, but you know, the water ain't like the bread out, the eggs. Yeah. yeah. So, my, you, it's mid time, so all these white people down there. And I just hear loud. I hear loud here. Hey, you, nigga! I saw, I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm turning around, thinking it's some animals. I turn around, I'm looking for, a, I'm thinking a nigga gonna be dressed like me. I turn around, it's a nigga in a whole suit, bro, briefcase. Like, he a lawyer, some shit. He got down looking at me. I'm like, this nigga? I'm like, yeah, nigga, boy, you funny as hell. Then I was like, oh, shit, this nigga. The white people were scared. They got down. Like, <laughs> then when they finally see us embrace each other, right. oh, my God. Right, right, right. These, it's niggas, safe. Not, it's these safe. niggas not going to kill each other. <laughs> I'm like, damn, but that shit was like, you know what I mean? So that's my, and then the same, the same fucking puppets, bro. I walk in. I walk in there. You know, they had a, uh, a white police officer standing at the top. Uh-huh. Nigga followed me down. I'm like, what the hell? Like, I ain't got no warrants, do I? Right. <laughs> and he tapped my shoulder, like, man, you scaring like me, ain't it? I'm like, yeah. He's like, nah, 
love it, bro. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. So, so do you ever feel like, man, I'm like, does it ever be too much for you when people be running up on your life there, or you be like, you know what? Yeah, bring it all to me. I'm embracing it all. Nah, hell, nah. I feel like you gotta embrace it. Like you stepping in this space, you know what come with this shit. So. I understand that it's gonna be a level or like you down there might lose your sanity team and shit, but I feel like you have to be willing to risk that to get everybody around you scrape. You know what I'm saying? So if I if I wanna be that super motherfucking superman provider where I can take care of everybody and, and this shit pay off, then I gotta be willing to uh sacrifice that for myself. My own peace, my own privacy and all That's that. That's a good shit. way to look at it. So that money coming in, huh? <laughs> I mean, I'm Odell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Odell. I can provide for my family and shit. Right, you know, right. I do this so before thing. we go into your skits and whatnot, because you got some funny ass shit, I got some That's stuff, you know, so I got to talk to you about. Take us back to younger scam Lee life before mm-hmm. you actually start doing this, what you're doing. What was you doing as a younger kid and what made you get into, you know what, I think I want to go this path right here. Really, it was just me being like, man, I think having a unique upbringing, like, you know what I mean? My mama was a paranoid schizophrenic, you know what I mean? My daddy was slick. I, I ain't even gonna say scammer because the word didn't even exist back then. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, my daddy. was hustling back then, man. Shucking and jiving, I guess. <laughs> I, mean, like, I, I remember daddy, that shucking and jiving. Shucking and jiving. Because, <laughs> like, my daddy was born in 19. Your dad was born in 1920, yeah. bro. My, dad, hey, on, my daddy was in World War II. Like, not my granddaddy, not my great daddy. Right, I'm going to say you were grandparents born in that. That nigga daddy was in the 20s. My, my, my grandparents were like kids slaves. So when they came out. They had family, to be if your dad was yeah, in the 20s. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. So, so, how, so how many is it of y'all? So my mom had six, four by my dad. She had two from uh two previous dudes before my dad. Then my dad had two that we never met before, but they were older than my mom. Wow. Damn. Yeah. I don't think I, so I don't know. How old was he when he had you? My dad, now he was down in 60. He was down in 60. Damn. Wow, okay. Yeah, your dad was like, you know what I'm saying, where about I lay my hat? That's was my, my home. home. <laughs> but, but I ain't gonna lie, that nigga was a real man, so that's why I got the perspective that I got because, like, listening to them talk, I yeah. seen that, like, my daddy was my mentor. You know how a lot of people get mentors as they grow right, right, right. So my daddy was like who I looked up to because he left the house. He took all of us. He, he raised us. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. And my mama was a pair of us. It's Frank. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like having that unique upbringing made me kind of have to have like a warped sense of humor. To yeah. ride, you know what I mean? Well, I had to laugh shit off because nigga shit so bad. What yeah, else yeah, can you do? Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can laugh. Yeah. Fuck right. it. Right, so when you did that first skit, that first video, what 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 did you think? Like you were like, okay, let me throw that out there and see what goes or whatnot. Is it gonna pop? Uh, it may have been alright, but I don't think it's gonna do. Like, what was your thought on the first skit? I ain't gonna lie, I feel more like like I had been running from this kind of shit. I've been running from it, really, like literally, like all my life I've been the clad clown, been the funniest nigga in class, yeah. jumping everybody out, nigga want to fight because I'm funny. So it was like. Everybody in my parameter was telling me like, "Yo, you need to be a comedian." And to me, the joke was, well, "I tell this shit. I say this shit on every interview I get on." John Sally from Detroit Pistons. Yeah. Every time I seen him, man, I seen him man on three different occasions. Every time I seen him, I know he don't remember me. Right. right. Nigga walking up to me like, "Hey, boy, you can be a comedian. You need to be a comedian. They giving away money. You need to be yeah. a comedian. You got it. Wow. You got it. So I, so I at first. I still didn't think like I had nothing special. Hell, you running the John Sally, but go ahead. <laughs> right in the place, like, that's what I'm telling you, like three different occasions out here. So uh, what what was crazy was like, uh, um, like I said, I had been running from like, I, I've been a street nigga, a trap or a rapper, all kind of shit. Yeah. So I always wanted to be taken serious. Yeah. But I'm always got the whole house rolling and laughing and shit. So it was, it was like, man, just, but like I still didn't feel like I had nothing special until I had a manager at the time. Mm-hmm. He had like six thousand followers. He was like, I think he was like an A and R for like Young Money at one time. Some shit. Okay. Yeah. So, so he looking at my page. He was like, bro, because I want, I want consistent. I post nigga once a month or some shit. Because I'm really in the street. So it's like, yeah. bro, I don't care about that shit. That shit ain't yeah. give me no money. So he telling me like, bro, looking at your engagement, you get more engagements than me, and I got more followers. Than you. Like, right. You might really have yourself something like. I have something you gotta keep, like, keep nigga, coming. You don't hear that shit. But when I finally just sat down and said, you know what, I'm going to do comedy, 
two months and she took off. So that's how I know like th this was my calling. Like I didn't force it. I didn't have to you know, I didn't do no extra shit for it. So how many videos you probably do per day, per month? Like how many you probably uh, do? Oh, I probably do like six videos a day, but I drop four a day. Okay. okay. That, that's my original. Do you do stand up? Are you trying to I, I I do, but like I'm just waiting till I get the leverage to do it because there's so much politics in that shit. Yeah, they could be holding their nets, and you know, like uh, internet comedians ain't really welcome in the space. Right. Yeah. Like, well. Yeah. I, we didn't heard about that. Yeah. yeah. We heard about internet comedians, comedians stand and uh, comedians. stand up comedians. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. Like I feel like a lot of stand up comedians got the old way, of, the old mindset of just wanting a nigga to break through the way they broke. Hey, they yeah. Yeah. Hey, dude, but way, yeah. yeah, but it's like. Game. Like I ain't gonna lie, like I I feel like this, like I always been kind of like a get money nigga, so I'm not gonna accept just know anything. Like mm -hmm. what what some of them comedians get paid, bro? I can't do it. Yeah. Like me personally, yeah. but I definitely understand. Like this how you build your stage presence and your time is in them hard rooms. That's why a lot of internet comedians ain't funny because they not going to the rooms, cultivating yeah. their crap. Right. They taking the easy way out. I got a lot of but followers. Yeah, facts. Like, I'm going to go in them rooms where niggas ain't laughing. You seen up that bitch yeah. sweating, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you get, you know what I mean? Right. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? So you got the skits thing. You got the video things going on and whatnot. And I just got to get into some of the things that you didn't say on your fucking video. <laughs> what you come up with these skits, man, though? Man, that nigga <laughs> said the streets are fucked up. These motherfuckers is selling pussy at rape, nigga. I remember oh, pussy with yeah. $40. <laughs> man, you got to go that whole interview, bro. You got to go that whole interview. That shit is <laughs> Shit, that nigga said $150 max, and that's for the BBL. <laughs> 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 why, why, why these bitches talking to us with pussy, man? What's man, going on? Man? Inflation. <laughs> they done went and got their high-end condo downtown. <laughs> shit, ain't fucking I think said, you got to tax the politicians. Hey, the nigga that told you to go get that shit, he ain't coming through like he was over here money. Ah, so shit. shit inflation. So we been fucking y'all for $40. Right. Hell there. We, we, we went not nobody man. fucking with you. Man. Oh, man. And then you did a skip with uh the lady we just talked about, Miss Sarah Fontenot. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, was through, uh, yeah that was through for this. Yeah, that was about the third leg. You yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That shit was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nigga, did you go with the third leg or that's somebody that you like, you know what? Just did that whole thing. No, that's a real product, though, right? That's that is, product. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a, a sponsorship. What? What the yeah. fuck? We need, yeah. hey, third leg, holler at us, man. Let's get in on that, man. Right. That's For real. real. I didn't know it was a real product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It'd be some other people doing, be yeah. doing that shit. That's Vanessa Lonely Club shit. That's his real product. And it really worked. <laughs> that shit really worked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not only a client. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I'm the president. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, holla at me. We gotta get with you after that, man. Get us on that shit. Right, shit. right, right. So, so is there somebody else out there that you haven't done a skit with that you look forward to doing something with, like a uh, Daisy Banks or something like I that? Mean, yeah, uh -huh. like, 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 I'm, 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 like, I'm, like, like, game, like, game. God was just saying, man, I'm looking for what's looking for me. Anybody willing to work for me? Because I feel like it's enough money in this shit for all of us. Right? It really and is. I feel like these people be pinning us against each other because I be getting a comparison, and I know certain people get sick of hearing that shit. Damn man, like you can't. I ain't, I ain't, bro, I ain't, bro. Like so, that should have really caused an uh, influx between us. But nigga, it's so much money on this shit. Every everybody, nigga, everybody can can't like me. Yeah. Everybody yeah. ain't gonna like this. Everybody ain't gonna yeah. like juice. You know what I mean? But it's enough money in this shit for everybody. Me personally, I don't give up. I don't feel no type of way about no nigga. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm me, and I always yeah. been me. I always been blessed with goddamn been charming. I can charm a bitch out of draws. I can joke a bitch out of draws. <laughs> Gonna get me some money, so I don't feel no type of way about nobody else. You know what I mean? So anybody want to work me, man? Come on, man. Let's tap in, man. Let's right. work. Right. I'm talking about. Now, that's a good way to do it, man. Now, if there's somebody that you have worked with that you thought like, not never thought I've been doing something like this with this person. Man, I say like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, uh, I remember I went to the country Wayne um, casting calls, and I and uh, I don't know, like I was at probably like, like twelve thousand followers. I was kind of going viral, so you know, I was yeah, kind yeah. of feeling myself. Really, right? <laughs> I'm walking in beat, but I'm walking in. I'm, I'm walking in beat. What the fuck? Look how I got swollen. What, 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 what up, nigga? But hey, so we want him in the ski. Yeah. I'm just like, why well, I'm gonna walk in that bitch did beat? I'm being ski. Man, I go in there. It's probably like 2,500 people in that beat. I'm like, oh shit, these folks got headshots and clips of they shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? Nigga, I just got my Instagram. I'm like, I'm trying to show a nigga my phone. Like, look, they me, bro. So, uh, so I'm like, damn, but this shit, see, but. 
why uh, Mike Blessing was, was a uh, speaker and shit. He was talking about, you know, because he, he one of the executive producers. Yeah. So I'm just listening to him. And what I'm hearing out his mouth is he really gave me confirmation. Like, bro, you really got everything that, you know what I mean, you supposed to be doing. You're on the yeah. right path. So I'm like, okay, okay, all right, cool. So I ain't, I ain't discouraging that. Yeah. So when he asked the people, like, to come up to do a skit to win a chance to be in the country wine skits, I'm knowing, like, I'm like, this ain't what, this ain't gonna be my way in. Like, you see what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'd rather yeah. get, but these folk, I'm gonna make so much noise, these folk gonna have They're gonna see me. Exactly. They're gonna so, come see me, yeah. So it was so, this shit was so surreal. Like I said, like, this is my first year. This is my first year in. So, um, uh, I had, I had, they had called me on the casting call, but it was like, just be an extra. So, like, I'm a nigga in the back, in the back, in the back, 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 yeah. in the back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, you might see my shoulder or some shit. Like, straight up. That's, that's an extra. You might see my shoulder. Right? But, this, this, the, like, the way my mind worked. We're like, far back. But what, nigga? <laughs> this, I was so far back there, nigga. I couldn't even see what the nigga shirt said. I, I don't even know where the camera at, nigga. I'm just like, <laughs> <"Hey, this is laughs> <laughs> But what was crazy, what was dope was, like I said, so... When I seen that, I, I, I'm very strategic. So what I did was I dressed like my character Scam. Yeah. When I when I was when, when I first introduced Scam, it was turtleneck, black, all black. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Very cap polarized, right? So I dressed like Scam, and I went to the skit. Yeah. To, so I'm an extra, but Mike keep noticing me. He keeps saying slick shit like, "Damn, this nigga like a drug." This nigga. Yeah. So I'm saying, so he noticed me, and um. People in the skit is this, this extra. They know who I am, so they right. talking to me. So he kind of looking like, who is this nigga? Like, am I supposed to know this nigga? Everybody, yeah, everybody but, talking to this nigga. But I don't, I don't overextend myself. I don't be like, yeah. hey, bro, I'm, I'm doing skit. I don't yeah. do none of that shit. So I leave. Uh, I leave, and then we, um, me and Finesse collab, we do our first collab while I'm sitting in the chair while I do the pair uh, uh, of the right. podcast. Yeah. Yeah. And that shit went so crazy. Mike, Mike come in on there like, man, where you find this nigga? This nigga hilarious. Yeah. And I'm, I went, I'm scammed, so I'm wearing the same shit that I was. So I hit him, I hit him on the wall. I said, hey, bro, you know that with me? He was like, you know what? That was. So he was like, hey, look, man, we got to shoot that whole scene over again. This how crazy the universe works. He was like, man, that's, we can't even use that scene. We got to reshoot that shit anyway, but don't wow. come. I got a bigger part for you. He wrote me in that shit. Look at God. Wow, yeah, look at God. Man. Yeah. Yeah. I, cause I can't even lie. When I be seeing um, y'all comedian skits or whatnot, when y'all be doing that shit, man, that shit be inspiring yeah. me. So yeah. I be like, man, let me put me a skit together. Man, you know what I'm saying? To, like, and I ain't even, you know, it's like you said, I don't be trying to bite on nobody. I just buy it. I love that. That's inspired inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't feel like I put out enough. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. y'all be like, this, 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 yeah. this. I'm like, fuck, how the fuck, with that shit, I'm like, how the fuck they come up with this? I'm so fucking fast, man. You know what I'm saying? Me, I think, I think for me, I, I think I'm a big man. So, like I said, being in a chaotic environment with my mom, I think that's why I'm able, because I'm able to create, like, and I didn't even know that I had nothing special until I get around other people, and they be like, you writing this shit? Like, I be, like, they really be thinking I be writing this shit. Like, every time I do this shit, it's just, Straight through. So people like I had met I had met this dude, this doctor, I can't remember. Bro, my bad, I forgot your name, bro. But Holmes big as hell on social media too. He seen this shit. Like he the senior doctor. Man, Holmes dope. But he, he told me like, man, I've been waiting to meet you, bro. Cause I really wanna ask you this question. And if if if, if you answer this question like I thought, I think you're gonna answer it. I know, I know what I know. And he was like, You wrote that shit? I'm like, nah. He said, bro, I knew it. And, but he was like, man, like, you don't even know what you got. Like, but, like, it's niggas that try to get media training to do that, and they can't even do they it. They can't do it. Yeah. But I was just like, man, so it just, yeah, it, it's like a curse. It's get. like a curse in the gift. Man, you off the top of that shit. When you yeah. come, when you be, like, doing the podcast shit, and you just be sad shit, then yeah. I'm hanging on everywhere. Like, this nigga's hilarious. But it's real, though. Yeah, it be real, though. Shit, yeah. Like, you be I'm dead ass serious. Yeah, but, that, <laughs> but I'm saying in a comedic way, because I feel like to get through the people, mm-hmm. you got to trick them. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you too abrasive, yeah. people gonna, you know what I'm saying? You need God in your life for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my brother, what, what I do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you just joke, like, hey, well, you know what? Hey, yeah. well, you know God. Look at that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. right, right. So it's just a way you're relatable. Like, you're relatable. But, 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 like, I look back at the gesture. Because people used to shit on the gesture. 
but the jester had the most important job in the kingdom. Yeah. Nigga, you got to make the king laugh, because if not, and then if you ain't funny, but he cut your legs so yeah. off, chop your dick off, feed him to and, a goat. And, and the jester making it easy for everybody, because now you got the king in a good mood. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody yeah. on pins yeah. and needles, we got down. Yeah. His favorite hoe just got fucked. Right. <laughs> Came out with a black bag. Hey, man, who fought the bag? <laughs> And I'm the only black just <laughs> right, 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 right. I don't I'm know who did right. <laughs> you, you, you know the part that talking about, baby. Stick up, nigga. Oh man, I would love to be in one of your skits, man. I'm telling you, oh, man, I would love to be in one of your skits. Yeah, 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 I would, man. And what's crazy, bro? Like I ain't no nigga that I go look at your page and be like, oh no, you ain't got it. Now nah, I ain't do none of that shit. Like you got some good energy. I, I, yeah. I'm real vegan. If I meet you and you dope. I like, all right, like, I got a home, but Nate, he shoot with me. Uh, he the one where I would take the nigga on a fucked up lick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so that's him. <laughs> and, and this is what's crazy about me and him. He hit me in my DM like, hey, bro, like, if you ever need somebody to shoot for skits, bro, just not me. And it was early on. I probably was at 20,000 something. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm going yeah. to uh, uh, send me your number, bro. So I locked him in. He probably think I ain't locked him in. Yeah. And I just hit him one day like, hey, bro, I need you for some come. Matter of fact, the relationship in Atlanta. That's when we really locked down. I was like, bro, I need you to be my security guard. So he was like, bet. But then when we talking on set, he told me how he came across me. He was like, he moved out here with his, with his baby mom. She oh, sent shit. him my video about, like, why not to move to Atlanta? <laughs> with the she, she sent it to him. He was like, nah, I don't listen to him. You know, he talking about, man, like, yeah. he moved out here and go through everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was real. She was real. I told him before you came down, man. Don't come down here with that. Hey, be ready. Hey, I'm be ready. Man, I hear that. Hey, and when I saw that nigga, shit, I said, "Oh, I told you because I thought about like, that same shit." I'm like, my so, cousin, oh, like, I'm already down. Here. Right. I said, my cousin talking about coming down. Here. I was like, man, you got a lady. So <laughs> listen, bro. When, when 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 I tell people that they have no idea like what Atlanta is, like you know, what yeah. I mean? like you can't even fathom this shit because nah, nah. until you until you step in the choir. <laughs> that was shit. That nigga been stepping this shit. Quack. This shit like an imaginary space where all good shit could happen. <laughs> all possibilities could be true or could be bad. Nigga, when you step in the quality shit, bro, nigga, you don't know. You really you don't like, hey. you can have a perspective or think, oh, I'm going to have, man, this shit. Hey, so if, that's the, so if somebody ever considered moving to Atlanta, is that the man. first thing you go going to tell them, like, hey, man, are you in a relationship? Yeah. But if you are in a relationship, oh, you might need to reconsider Bring your ass down. <laughs> Come by yourself first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, so we, we, yeah. Come by yourself first and really see what's out here. See the landscape. See the total goddamn canvas before you start painting, bro. Nah, you know, because you know they come, they come by their son. Hey, hey, look here. Put your mom on the phone. <laughs> look at her. I ain't coming home. <laughs> Man, listen, uh, bro. Is, oh, but, shit. But, like, this shit, the land opportunity, the land temptation. Atlanta, everything. It, it's Atlanta is like five cities layered on top of each other, and they all exist at the same time. This shit like the uh, what's that shit, the nigga um, in Stella or uh, Insta Stella where uh Matthew McConaughey was in the no, oh, no, yeah, yeah, the quadruple. What that shit was? Yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. Uh, That's what the fuck this. Oh, uh, was, was that uh, the, the 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 girlfriends of ghosts or something? That movie. Yeah, I'm talking about Interstellar, where the nigga had to go in outer space and. You know yeah, what I'm talking about? Quantum realm or yeah, shit. Yeah, it was some yeah. weird shit. Oh, okay. Uh, I yeah. know what you're talking I can't think of it right now. That's yeah, basically Atlanta. Okay. All that shit okay. exists on top of each other, bro. And you can be existing in this shit simultaneously. You can yeah. be a part of the underworld. Yeah. You know I mean, it's just all. And, and I, I always say that, man. Like, people be like, you know, everybody come visit Atlanta. Man, what, what you what, what's there to do out there? What you trying to get into? Literally, right? right. Well, that, you trying to get into some history shit? We got history shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get into some strip shit, some strippers and shit. You trying like to try to run a play? You trying to make a move? You trying to have an opportunity? Right. Trying to get a job? Trying like, to fuck? Like Nick, 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 Nick got everything. You know what I'm saying? Literally, bro. Literally sure. got everything. Sure. And, and you know what? I think people don't understand how like legendary you just being existing inside of Atlanta. Yeah. Like nigga, you know how hard that is. You know how how many people True. Atlanta chew up and spit the fuck Man, out. And they got to go back home with right. their jewelry. Right. Right. So for you to be inside of Atlanta right now, nigga, you doing some legendary shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you probably ain't most. Cause it's like, tough. You're right. It yeah. is tough, boy. Temptation is a motherfucker in Atlanta, boy. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. damn. Man, we got Scam Likely in the building, man. You feel me, man, in the game room. So Scam Likely, you know what I'm saying? You're a comedian, you know what I'm saying? We finna have some fun with this damn comedian. Okay, cool. We finna play a game called Rapid Fire with you, man. We just gonna ask some random shit. Let's see what Scam Likely answers. You feel me? Yeah. You love flats or drums when it comes to wings? Well, I'll flat me, Sean. 
Flat me down, boy. I, man, I like drums, man. man. As soon as I see a drum, mm. oh man, he go, he go, he go, he go, I go count him. What he thought the game? He was sick, goddamn drum. Hey, I get to count him, drum. You give me too many drum. I all flat me head down. Damn, oh, I like see, drums, though, man. This is an Atlanta dude, man. So, who started trap music? Oh, that's a good question. Who, mm, who literally? I, okay, you mean who actually started the word? Trap music. How, how, how you how take you that? Who, take who, who, who invented trap music? How you want to take it? Mm, that's a whole lot. That, it's your because the, the boys from the deck been was rapping about trapping. You know what I'm saying? But T.I. really put that shit on the map. Like, mm-hmm. T.I. Like, nigga, dope boys in the trap. Right. <laughs> God, nigga. God, nigga. Where you at, nigga? <laughs> Oh, man. That 5.5, dog. You trying to do that? Get the fuck out my trap, man. Standing around my trap. I thought you fucking up. Oh, man. Like, you know, oh, man. Because, sure. you know, everybody had a Gucci, Jeezy, you know but, what I mean? But, see, I really, like, like he was before them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he, he yeah. caught on before them. But, yeah, like, they they stamped it, though. Yeah. Gucci stamped. Kind of had a brick. Yeah. Jeez, you got down. Yeah. The birds fly down up Jordan to the sun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Who would you want as your mama out of these three options? You ever watch Power? Yeah. Okay. You got Rock, mm-hmm. Tasha, Monet. Who would you want as your mama? Tasha. Why well, good? Because she's the, she the only one that really slick had like motherly skills outside of. The mother bitches, them bitches some pit bulls, right? Yeah. Them bitches selling dope, killing niggas. Yeah. Oh, down man, on that kid. They had a damn shit about that. Damn shit on Monet. I would have shot Monet. I would have shot Monet. Bitch, you hold that pistol on me, mama. I'm going to go with some dead ass. I'm, I'm, what's up? I'm, what you doing? Look at, look at, I got what you doing. You ain't pulling that shit out. One time, you got one time to draw that out. After that, man, we had a mess with that all this bitch. City like it's big and it's small at the same time. It so is, you might be really like a girl. You fuck around, go on a date with with, with your rich party. Y'all go, hey man, meet me that cheek. You just with your girl, come on, let go. You got there and get to the table, sit down in your pot and be like, mm. you're like, oh man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just like you know what I mean, just not knowing. You know what I mean? It's yeah, everybody, small. you gotta think it, it's so many new people coming in the city. You don't know her background, like. It's what, what, what drove what you her to come here? Yeah. You know okay. Would you rather have sex with Sexy Red or give away three hundred dollars to just a random person you don't even fucking know? Well, I fuck Sexy Red right now. <laughs> <laughs> sexy. <laughs> 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 she said, "Yeah, well, I fuck Sexy." I'm trying to see what's brown and pink. Listen, you know what people talk a lot of shit about sex. Uh huh. And I don't agree with everything she say. I don't agree with nothing. Every then I don't agree with everything nobody say. Like I don't yeah. believe every one person gonna say some shit. You agree with everything they say, but yeah, they get like I know she in a weird space. Well, of course these people use her. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I, what I do like about her is people are feeling real like she really bring men and women back together. Cause she like even though she rap all this raunchy ass shit, mm-hmm. the, the basis of her shit is she gonna be with a black man. She love black men. Yeah, she love she love niggas. Yeah. Who, who driving scats and shit through the city? Niggas. Them niggas. Yep, you're right. Niggas in them scats. Right, right, them white right. boy in them goddamn <laughs> scat <laughs> Right. Oh, you're right. She gonna always deal with yeah, a, she, a, a, a nigga nigga. nigga. Yeah, yeah, for so, real. That's true. Yeah, so I, I respect that about it. Yeah, I got them bus six ass down, but straight <laughs> down the middle. Like a goddamn swish. <laughs> Split that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if you if you could serenade a woman right now with a song, what song you choosing? Oh, boy, I've been listening to shit. Look, they were crying been listening to this shit uh-huh. all motherfucking week, nigga. I did two skits to a Drew Hill, boy. You are here. Oh, you have, you have, yeah, you are here. You talking about the lyrics and shit. Yeah. What, about, what about the lyrics? Well, what? That shit the truth. Are you apologizing to a bitch, too? <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to be apologizing. Like that, like, if you think about it, 
that shit gone. Like in the daytime, right. bitch, yeah. fuck you then, bitch, you into my daddy. Yeah. Bro, yeah. man, hold the fuck you to that. Yeah. I did it. So what? Go on, why? I have another hole with like, ain't nothing. Man, these are them niggas. <laughs> Baby, I'm sorry <laughs> for what I done. <laughs> Did you forgive me? That nigga say he wrote a letter. And drop that bitch on the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I wrote a letter. Come on, man. Nigga ain't that thought for no more. Yeah, they were talking about something totally man. different. Two lines in there. Exactly. You're cold. You're cold. You're right, you're right. What the fuck is going on, nigga? <laughs> hey, who the fuck is writing letters anymore, nigga? Those niggas writing letters back. Leave that bitch on the counter. Last time you mailed off a letter. Last time you mailed off a letter. Bitch, come on. Come on. Last time you mailed off a letter. Bitch, come on. Come on. Last time you mailed off a letter. Bitch. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hell no. What's a uh, a shoe that never go out of style? A shoe? A shoe that you just don't go out of style. You wear that wear that. Mm. My shoe, to me, they don't even make no more. What's that? British Knights? Hell <laughs> I would never wear a clean, clean goddamn shoe. I remember in school they said, but you know British Knight, man. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, screw it, I'm wearing these damn shoes, bro. It makes sense. British knights, knights, they white. Right, right, right. Damn, right. 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 This nigga right like here, boy. If you could be any age for the rest of your life, what age would you be? Shit, I say, goddamn, thirty-four. Cause you can still fuck the aunties. <laughs> your nieces ain't too old, and you might get catch a grandma or two. <laughs> you might get a grandma. I might get a grandma or two, boy. That nigga said thirty-four. Why didn't why to see you in the quad? They're right in the quad. That's what you were doing. See, I'm saying you existed. You just existing through that shit, existing through all the bullshit. You just coming and swimming up through existence. You ain't tripping. Bitch, y'all falling out over here. You still with me? Bitch, Louis T. I still like you know what I mean. Uh, I ain't never heard nobody say that. The, the quad. Wow. <laughs> man, we got scared Mike in the building, man. Yeah. You feel me, man? You got you got a record for him, man, real quick. It's time for the rank. It's time for the rank. It's time for the rank with L E E Lee. With L E E Lee. Can do it. So, uh, it's the portion of the show, ladies and gentlemen, where you know, I uh, it's how we get to know each other, man. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you a topic. I'm gonna have a couple options, and I want you to rank in order based off your preferences. No wrong answer. You know what I'm saying? So, today. It's been a minute since I did it. Which is when I got lined up. All right, all right. I want y'all to rank what y'all think would most likely happen out of these options. What we would think would most likely happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got some options. I got visuals, you know, to help out the situation. All right, you ranking what you think would most likely occur okay. out of these options. Okay. Do you think... <clears throat> What you most confident in that most like her? First one, <clears throat> the last Friday movie is gonna be the best out of the Friday series. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. 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 Next one, Trump will be president. The next president. <laughs> we ranking what we think, not necessarily what you want to happen, what you think would most likely happen. 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 All right. Okay. What you got the most confident? R. Kelly makes a comeback. <laughs> R. Kelly make a comeback. What's most likely to happen now? <laughs> Cat Williams and Kevin Hart do a celebrity boxing match. Okay. And finally, you can turn a hoe into a housewife. <laughs> Rank in order what most likely will occur. What you got confidence that will most likely so, occur. So number one, Rank them. Most, most. most likely okay. to so least, least likely. Okay. okay. So me first, I'm going first. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So Trump gonna win this shit. That's, Whoa. That, that's most likely to happen. That's most like, that's your most likely. Trump yeah. is most shit. likely to happen. Um, shit. Last Friday's gonna be the best movie. We're gonna get a celebrity boxing match. 
R. Kelly gonna make a comeback. I hey, say take two, two R. Kelly make a comeback because mm. really, because really he ain't really went nowhere. I'm gonna fuck with him. Right, right, R. Kelly, we know where you're right. Really really went nowhere. Nowhere. You okay, okay. okay. If he okay. get out here, he's selling out. Fact. Um, R. I say. Damn, that's tough. So, so, so we're going to the least likely to happen. Yeah, now. yeah, okay. yeah, the least likely. So, so we already passed. Okay, so I would say Kevin Hart and Kevin. Well, that boy got that. Kevin got too much money on man. That nigga ain't getting no ring. He ain't gonna do no celebrity. Well, this time, but Kevin had my come up missing. But hopefully, <laughs> he got too much money. Get I heard that. Hey, but Cat do be. I mean, Kevin do be boxing though. Yeah, yeah. yeah I be yep. seeing him with the girls. Cat, Cat be talking all shit like. Yeah, hey, Cat did run that four flex. Yeah, right? I yeah, seen that. And that nigga it. ran that shit in some motherfucking Dior B B thirty five. He ran it for real. He ran that might be the low key. That might be a good little boxing. Yeah, that might be some athletic shit because both of them were kind of in shape. Now, okay, so then, and then, second to last would be Friday because I don't think no Friday ever gonna match Friday. Mm. That shit too iconic. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I was in the group home, bro. We used to watch this shit every day, like mm. every day for like six years straight. Yeah. Friday. Wow. You're right. I, I, I'm like, I think they waited too long to even try to do it now. Unless they put me in that bitch. Then, <laughs> unless they put me in that. Yeah, that's that, 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 that gonna go up to the that shit. <laughs> Nigga ran a 4-4 in B 
the B35 Dior. <laughs> this shit's heavy as fuck. This shit feel like two bricks. Yeah. Yeah, have you ever had you ever, I, shit, I, 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 I ain't never had them all. Them shits them all. are them shits hurt your feet, bro. And they heavy as fuck, bro. They so, like, so, so, so they like running the timbers. Yes, bro. Shit. With with water. Wet wet <laughs> timbers. Wet timbers. They like running a faux faux in wet timbers. Boy, that nigga not no joke. That, that is man. Yeah, that that is fast as fuck. fuck. That's like that you like, got a faux faux. Wet timbers, bro. Wet timbers. I don't know. Yeah, when did get talk about about what a teenager or something? That was no, that was a game video. That was a real game. That was a project baby. You can't go out there for the project. Right, right. Uh, above that, um, you ever definitely have to go turn the hole into a housewife. Um, Y'all just can't see. I mean, that's why that falls in the middle. Somebody, somebody out there do it. No, so that's why that falls in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Turn the hole into a housewife because yeah, it, it's because, it's because eventually the hole is going to come back out. So it's going to come back out. So, 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 so that means it's not no possibility. Huh? So that means it's not no possibility. It's no so possibility. Saying, no, then. no, you probably can. But eventually, it's going to come out. Then get what? That's like saying I quit smoking dope, but I go back to smoking dope. That means I like never quit. Yeah. In fact, that means that yeah. never stop being no hoe. Yeah. So you <laughs> never change, yo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, above that, oh, shit. I got two left, right? Shit. Because see, I don't want Trump to win. I'm just looking out. I don't want Trump to win. You might not want him to. Yeah, but I'm, most I'm, I, hate, I, I hate to say it though. It's go, that's gonna be number one. Trump most likely winning, and they're cutting number two behind that. Wow. Man, I hate to say that, but yeah, that's my bitch. And look at the competition, man. The man up that bitch. Knock it, knock it up. Leave it up. Huh? What? What happened? <laughs> we debate. Who? Who? Who we debate? Nigga Trump. Nigga, the nigga right there in front of the nigga with the yellow hair. Big Bird. You can't see that nigga. We got that nigga. Huh? Bernie, nigga. What the hell? Hey. Hey. Huh? 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 Debate. Hell yeah. Now nah, time to hear that shit. <laughs> The subject was African American. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. You niggas ain't going to jail. I'm putting nigga in jail. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to jail. You woke up Saturday. Uh, 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 uh. Hey man, come on man. So, oh, shit. That's how you know this shit real. Oh, that's how you know this shit real. Oh, you know this shit real. <laughs> the Democrats, if y'all really want somebody else in office, y'all know not to put this man up there, man. But here's the thing: the nigga was already on before we voted for him, though. Man, who voted for that man? man. I don't believe you. I don't believe it. Oh, don't believe shit. It. The nigga was already old before he was man, voted, man. Oh, man. That nigga was man, already man, 75 shit. when he went in. Man, the man had been enough time to watch how you was the goddamn vice president when Obama was in. Let somebody else do it, man. <laughs> That's a good ass Come point. Come on, man. That's a good ass point. The reason why people fuck with Trump because he's authentic. Like, people don't know. Like, you know, you know, for a long time they were saying, like, love is the strongest frequency out there. But then they did studies that prove that it's a frequency that's 40,000 times stronger than love and what they find out was it's authenticity that's why you see these people that blew up on the internet they all got the same shit in common charles white Krishan rock tia kemp they authentic they don't give a fuck what they say they abrasive they don't say yeah, it. that's a good point yeah so authenticity. Smart, you know what i'm saying yo boy don't give me tell a joke too hey, i be doing hey. math and shit too <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's a good answer. I be doing math and shit. Oh, shit. Geometry and shit. <laughs> Nucleus. <laughs> okay, well then you, if you know the geography, then name the five oceans. Nigga, nigga. Pacific. That's what I'm mean. We're gonna go with it. Nigga, the sea. Uh, <laughs> nigga, the sea. Nigga, the fuck you talking about? Self sea, nigga. <laughs> hey, David Jones Locker. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean fan. Ah, nigga, I'm not talking about no ocean, nigga. I'm on land. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm quick. I'm quick. Just like go. Y'all niggas like about to shoot me. Nigga, I'm on land. Nigga, I don't care what's in the ocean. They got a bunch of shit down there. I don't know nothing about dolphins and mermaids and shit. I'm down there, nigga. I'm on land, nigga. I'm in the quad, nigga. I'm in the quad, nigga. I'm on earth, nigga. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's your list, man? What's uh, your list? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, out of these options, out of these options, yeah, uh, Trump being president is probably, yeah. we'll probably see that before we see any of this other shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, y'all really think R. Kelly can make a comeback? Man, R. Kelly ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. I'm talking about music, being man. on the billboards and all that man, shit. They gonna if, fuck with his music. Hey. Listen, if, 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 if he get a pill and he come out, boy, R. Kelly, oh, nigga. Hey, Niggas be embrace right, nigga right. coming out of hey, prison. I'm gonna tell you right now, even if he don't get a pill, I, I guarantee within the next two years that nigga got an album. Get what? 
not even no album, but get what? I guarantee you this. Somebody do some viral piece of content to that nigga music. Yep. Yeah. So he gonna be. He still up. Yeah. He still yeah. up. Yeah. I think I think that could probably happen because it's a lot of people that fuck with R. Kelly. Niggas still and, fucking to R. Kelly. And even even yeah. yeah. And as more time <laughs> as more time goes, <laughs> yeah. 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 Who, who we just it? get touched on what R. Kelly. Yeah. Niggas yeah. is fucking R. Kelly. The, 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 the bitches might not be fucking. Yeah. Man, they fucking R. Kelly. Right, they fucking R. Kelly. They fucking R. Kelly. Now, listen. I see, that's one thing I hate, bro, because they'll try to take some bad shit and discredit the nigga whole, whole catalog. catalog yeah. But we not taking these white-ass monuments that whoop niggas when they came home mad. That's true. You see what I'm saying? That's like, they'll tell us, oh, no, that's history. You can't do that. You can't take that down. Yeah. But R. Kelly is history, too. Yeah, yeah, that's our history. It's history. It's history. Yeah, so I would say Trump, R. Kelly. Um, Lad three. <sighs> shit. Hard when I... I right. think, I think, it gets hard at number yeah. three. <laughs> I think the boxing match could go down with the if the, you put the right money behind it. Niggas pay money for boxing. Match. But but this thing, them niggas got two. But what can you offer Kevin Hart to do that? Them niggas Kevin Hart, about you, to be a billionaire. Bro. You gotta gas Kevin Hart up to believe like this is your chance to take this nigga out. We'll but, shut but, him up. But, but this thing, the man, he ain't getting in that position by being done. The man too smart. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. what if I get in the ring with the man and kept we ring my fucking bell? Yeah, you got gas. 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 You got You got gas. 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 You got <laughs> you sure you can't turn a hoe into a housewife at some point? Try it. Try it. <laughs> I want to see it. Document it. Try to document it. Try it. Right, right, Ask the king, can you do it? I know. That's, that's what I need to add. Try yeah, so I would go last Friday, then you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. It's in it. Matter of fact, he already said it because remember, he was dating the porn star. Yeah, well, he wasn't, he wasn't dating. He was pimping. <laughs> but he couldn't turn into no housewife, though. No, he couldn't turn her into a consistent hoe. <laughs> Oh, he had her as a hoe when she decided to leave. He said, yeah, I got to stand on principle. But that's the Rangum. But it's even another Rangum, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah, up, man. Yeah. We got scared of light in the building. Man, what's next for you, man? Man, well, I'm going to get down. Cook me, brick of dope. You know I'm saying? shit to the trap. I'm breaking the shit down. I'm selling to my cousin. Q's going to give you that call. Q's going to give you that call. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Nah, man, but movies, man. I'm trying to do some movies. I'm trying to do some executive producing for a couple of shows. Right, you know what I mean? That's that's my ultimate goal. I wanna have my own skit show. I really wanna bring some shit like living color back. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm really that's 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 my ultimate goal. Like I really wanna Yeah, eat, that's dope. Eat, eat, eat and then I got uh um, so me me and my man Gold Dimes, we got a podcast dropping. Hold up, Gold Dimes, is that the dude that we have the women on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we exactly. need to get we need to get with that. Listen, right. Hit us up when y'all link yeah, up. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> we just shot Man, so we up to like episode four. We ain't dropping it yet though. So when we drop that shit, gonna be exciting. Party, party. It's gonna be exhilarating. Yeah, it's gonna be vigorating. Exhilarating yeah. with like three X's. Right. Them bitches, man. But girl, true. But 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 you know what? Like we just dive into that world, man. Just you know, cause yeah. these niggas be want to know. You know what I mean? So you just see some players kicking it with them. You know what I mean? Mm. And that's that's what we doing. So then I'm coming with my own uh, show. I'm gonna do my own show. Basically, what I do, like, uh, called not a podcast show. So okay. I just do what I do. Yeah, talk yeah, shit, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. man, I'm, I'm, man, I'm all faucets right now, bro. Everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call and awesome. tell people how, you can, how they can find you, tap in with you, whatever. Look, man, so y'all can tap in. Oh my goddamn. What's that? My signal. Goddamn. Listen, man. I come join my goddamn. What's the name? But listen, but I got good, good methods going. Good methods popping. You need to join the goddamn WhatsApp. You feel me? Tap in with it, boy. Send me your ID. Send me your credit card information. Send me your credit profile. Nigga, send me out. <laughs> I do bullshit, but for real. <laughs> All my social media is the same. Just QL. J U S T Q U E H 3 F L. YouTube. Facebook, goddamn TikTok, Instagram, X. I was about to say Twitter. But yeah, 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 yeah. Bloody change. <laughs> <laughs> X, goddamn. A three is everything, man. So that's what you can find me at, man. 
That's what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? You already know how to follow us, man, at Big Talk, Big Game, and everything, yeah. man. You feel me, man, on the Hip Hop Network. We appreciate Scalp Lively being in the game room with us, man. man. And appreciate y'all staying tuned with Big Talk, Big Game. You know what I'm saying? That's our time. We out of here. Peace and love. Let that.